Holy cat. And do you want to know a fun fact about me personally? I actually live in a mushroom biome. Seriously. Look behind me right now and you'll notice that, wow, I actually have a bunch of mushrooms living right in my office. And this is a crazy fact that I wanted to share because today I'm going to beat Minecraft starting in a mushroom biome. And uh, this is a single biome world. I, For the previous one, I used a actual existing version of a world. This is literally 100% mushroom biome all around. And it's very, very easy to do if you have a bonus chest because you take a stone pickaxe or a wooden axe and you work your way through there. However, if you don't use a bonus chest, as I've not been for my single biome completion stream series, then the question becomes really fun. How do you beat Minecraft? And the answer is, well, you start, as with every world, by chopping down a tree. I mean, you've got an infinite amount of food, so this should be the easiest, but where are those trees? The answer is actually you can't find them. The only trees you'll find in this world are below the ground in a lush caves, or indeed in an abandoned mine shaft. Uh, and so as a result, if you actually want to do well in this world, you need to go to the nether to find wood. And the good news is, wow, actually, look at that. That is an almost complete nether portal right there. So hello, everyone. How's it going? Hope everyone's having a very good SAS day. I've had a good one myself. I've, uh, I have I went out to uh, for various street food options today. It was, uh, uh, I, I tried to go to as many different food places as I could in one day. I, uh, the, the thing you realize about food, though, is there's, like, a finite amount you need to eat in a day. It's one of the saddest things, is I have an unlimited appetite with my, with my, uh, my eyes, but my stomach just can't keep up. It sometimes works in the reverse, but that's a different point for a different time. Uh, today, though, I have a sword, I have 24 iron nuggets that I can't craft together, and I have some boots that might become something later. But you can see immediately why this is a problem, right? I need to go to the nether to find wood. But to go to the nether to find wood, I need to turn my iron nuggets into iron ingots and then craft those. But to craft any of that, I need a crafting table which requires wood and it's it's a it's a fun problem, which we're going to try and solve today. So uh, yeah, come along for the journey and what I assume could be either the easiest or the hardest, <laughs> really depends on your perspective, uh, way to beat Minecraft. I think I'm going to try and get some bowls nice and early and then just use the ludicrous amount of mushrooms you'll find here. In fact, you don't even need to use mushrooms. You can use mushroom soup, but for when I go to the nether, I'm going to have a lot of mushrooms ready to feed me there too. So seven of each, that seems like a good number. Well, now it's eight of each. Well, actually now it's nine of each. So let's just go for a full ten, and then let's work out where food is going to come from, or rather where wood is going to come from. So uh, find a mine shaft, says Lone Wolf 668 So chat, if you're in my situation right now, what do you do? Because I do think that a mine shaft, if you're, if you're doing the whole, like just load up chunk based thing. I think a mine shaft is a pretty reliable way on paper, but even then in practice, you'd have to dig through a bunch of stone without a pickaxe. I mean, I've got an off prod sword right here. And so my plan is genuinely going to be to find a pickaxe uh, from a chest and then use that pickaxe to find a lush cave biome. I'm assuming, uh, actually there might, again, this is single biome, so there might not even be any of those. In which case, we'll have to use enough chests to get us... <laughs> yeah, we have to find enough chests to get obsidian to go to the nether and then get the wood there. That is the most reliable version of that, which sounds like insanity when you say it out loud. In the meantime, the only food source... Is it just me, or did you do this seed before? Um, the... So, uh, th there is a seed for this, um, in case you're curious. But, uh, yeah, the, I, I, I loaded up quite a few mushroom biome seeds, um, or rather a few different mushroom biome variants, uh, this time. Because I wanted to see the difference between the mushroom fields and the mushroom fields, sure. Fun fact, it's the same biome, there's no difference. Anyway, let's eat some beef. Let's really start to question how we're gonna survive the night, too. I mean, if any arthropods try to get me, they'll be dead, but... Otherwise, we might be ruined. Um, Tyler Baker says, try to find a shipwreck. So shipwrecks sound like a good idea. If you're ever on a mushroom island, they will work great. But again, single biome means that I don't believe shipwrecks spawn in this biome itself. You might find them in the ocean. Is that one over there, actually? Chat, is that... What do you reckon? I'm, I'm going to turn up my render distance, just in case that gives me a, a clue as to what's happening here. So we'll go to video. We'll go to render distance. We'll just, we'll just up it a few chunks. Is that a shipwreck over there? I do not believe that it is. I think it's just a weird piece of terrain. Maybe the shores have more sand. Yeah, I I, I, I confirmed that I, I don't think there's a difference in how the game actually treats them. Maybe there would be based on the terrain, or maybe they used to be treated differently and it's a legacy thing. Um, but at least with the crack magnet super flat generator I use, it made no difference to the end world. 
Have you seen the azalea trees on mushroom islands? Again, uh, yeah, I, I do think that if you're in a mushroom biome normally, the solution is quite simple. It's just like, yeah, you, you, you find that. Also, oh, fun fact. So one of the reasons this is one of the chillest biomes to survive in is because there are no hostile mobs that spawn. And so even though it's nighttime, it, it seems like a scary problem. But actually, there's no half pods that can get me. <laughs> so I'm doing wonderfully. Um, beautiful purple water. Exactly. I love the water in this biome. A lot of people disagreed with me when I posted about that on Twitter recently. Okay, so there's a cave here. Let's see if that cave goes into any biome. It doesn't seem to. I, I'm, I'm fairly certain that there aren't cave biomes in single biome worlds. Um, but we could find out, I guess. This is one of those beautiful uh, world challenges... Where everything seems like it makes perfect sense until it doesn't. Also, the end might look kind of fun again, uh, depending on how it handles that. So that'd be fun. Speaking of fun, ooh, you know what I see. Fun fact, sacrificing yourself in lava does in fact do nothing for you. <laughs> I mean, if you sacrifice yourself to the lava gods, maybe... Oh wait, look at that. Okay, chat. This is a fun one to find because mobs are... Okay, that's there goes that idea. Um... Mobs are very reluctant to spawn in these places. So let's just knock him down and then let's go. Oh, free iron. Okay, so if we just had enough string or if we just had enough wood, uh, we would be immediately able to make a bucket right now. Instead, I've got the vague notion of pumpkins. Chat, what, what do I do with this loadout? I. <laughs> it's very rare that wood is the missing ingredient, but it's what I have today. So, um, yeah, finding a ruin portal is the only way in a world... That it, again, without a lush cave biome, a different biome, without a shipwreck, which requires a... Um, again, it requires the beach biome, or at least it requires an ocean too, maybe. Um, without either of those biomes, you can see how there's nothing here. It's... Uh, there is, uh, you know, water, but that water is part of the mushroom shore biome. It's very weird how Minecraft does things. And so it's just all about finding ruined portals because they're the one structure that truly does generate everywhere. And I'm going to do so while only eating rotten flesh. What a great day it's going to be. <laughs> Don't get the chest. Um, also, make a flint and steel so you can light the portal. Yeah, if I if I make a flint and steel now, I could make I could light a fully lit portal. Uh, sorry, a fully complete portal. And so that seems like not a bad idea. Anyway, um, I... Uh, make make yeah I I also took out where did you get the Xbox profile picture? It's funny that you it literally lets me use that now after all this time because uh, you can you can just make your own custom Xbox profile picture, uh, which is what the current one is, because uh, the the old the old ones are so low resolution, right? It's a uh, it's one of those classics that is uh, almost lost the time. Flint and steel could get cooked cow. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually. Maybe a flint and steel now is worth going for. Because I don't see any other ruined portals. They they usually litter the landscape in worlds like this. But as you can see, there is there is nothing going on here. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's nothing. You could bone mill the grass. Yeah, if I bone mill the grass, what will I get? How would you get a sapling from grass, actually? There's got to be a way. Okay, you know what, chat? I, I've, I haven't bone milled grass in a mushroom biome ever. Let's see what spawns. Okay, we could get seeds. If I had a hoe, I could turn that into something. And we get flowers. So I could make a yellow bed if I had enough of that. I've, I've got half the amount of string I need. So, I mean, I, it's, if, if I use the bone mill on the ground here, you can't. Okay, so the only place you can use it are those green patches where I can get tall grass. And specifically cannot get trees. Um, there is uh, not nothing. Lots of red and brown mushrooms. You know what? You're right. That's... Oh, look, okay, okay. That's, that's, that's a ruined portal. It's only the second one we've seen so far. It's gonna have to be my salvation. Um, Mr. Lowe says, hello, Toy Cat. Hello, Toy Chat. Sorry, I'm late. How goes it? It's going really well, Mr. Lowe. I hope you're doing wonderfully yourself. Brian and Susan Freight, you should make a house in a mushroom. <laughs> I did, I, I really do love the mushroom house. That is definitely my plan for an abode. Don't you worry. That is, that is one of the, the moves that I intend to make. Um... First, though, you know, what if this is different? Okay, it's just it's just more grass. I'll get more seeds eventually, which I could, like, compost together to make more bone meal. Yeah, there really is um, a shortage in the mushroom biome. Uh, you, you're lucky that it's rare that you spawn in one this big. Uh, you, Minecraft is very good at preventing that. But right now, the only ad advancement I've truly made 
is that I could make a flint and steel and get cooked beef, which is a pretty nice advancement to be fair to me. Um, yeah, fish for a bowl. <laughs> you know what? How am I going to make the fishing rod, Rico? How am I going to make it? Tell me and I'll make I'll, I'll do it. Um, anyway, so now, uh, by the way, I think this isn't quite high enough. There we go. And also, oh, I forgot to, whoopsie. Sorry, internet. Very unprofessional streamer over here. Um, hello, how is life going, says Leanne Vendermeer. It's going pretty well, thank you. Okay, shovel, fire charge. Um, I'll save one fire charge. Oh, and also a sharpness sword. One fire charge for the, uh, the portal that we're gonna go through. And one fire charge for getting some cooked meat so I don't have to keep eating rotten flesh. That is my plan right now. And we have to just pray we find obsidian in one of these eventually. <laughs> That's my whole strategy at this point. I um I am doing this one blind, chat. I I do think there's an interesting argument about whether how much scouting should you do on something like this. Like because it is a super flat generator, I could find out this. Uh, sorry, a single biome generator. I could research the seed. I could check all the outcomes. But just because this challenge is so ludicrous, I wanted to go into it in this way. Um, no, you're fine, Tucker. I thought my phone screw was messed up. Good to know it's not. I uh, I'm glad that I fixed your problem, Christian. Um, Ibrahim, make a bucket to complete the portal, then use the fire charge to light it. Uh, yeah, that's my plan. If I can find a, uh, but again, I can't, I can't actually, because I don't have a crafting table. It's funny how many assumptions we have in Minecraft that are built on the crafting table. I mean, I did make the, I did prove all those years ago that you can beat Minecraft without crafting. But, uh, yeah, since then things have been very different. Don't you mean one of the moves you <laughs> intend to make? You know, Samantha Simpson, very disappointed, but also, yes, exactly that. Okay, so now there is a ruined portal, and that one looks pretty complete. It's the most complete I think we've seen so far. We've just got to break one uh, crying obsidian, then place three of our own down. And we've got two of our own, and an enchanted apple, and a pickaxe. Um, so if, there, if we knew where a mineshaft was, which I do believe they exist... You know, actually, should we should we go find out, chat? Should we go find a mineshaft? Nah, let's not. We gotta. We're one obsidian away. We should we should believe in ourselves. And uh, then we'll put these over there. I've got a saddle. If I could find something, I don't think I can. And I'll put this in there to show my commitment to coming back one day. And also, I'll take this because that that seems solid to me. So I'm doing very very well in a sense of that word. And very, very poorly in most of the other senses. I'm going to write down my coordinates. Pro tip, chat. Here's how you do it. Um, 300 minus... Okay, 323 min minus 525. Minus 325. I didn't. I typed that wrong. 325 minus 1025. Now I know exactly where to head back to. Um, we Usually, you know, the, the cheat solution to this is have Dasher around. Uh, welcome, new wife. Thank you, Wake, for becoming the 486th channel member. Bring us just a little closer to 500. It's exciting, chat. It's very exciting. Um, build a portal with a ruined portal obsidian in its chest, then get Neverwood. You know, there you go. Now, now we're talking, uh, Harry Big Boy. If I just build a portal and then hope the chest comes second, the rest will work itself out, surely. Um, your Super Flat Series is awesome for making you think outside the box uh, to get things we take for granted, like just getting a bucket of water. Yeah, I, I, to this day, I think that Super Flat series is one of the most fun, I, because I, the idea started as, like, just a joke, like, technically speaking, it was possible to do this, to do that, to do that, and, you know, like, uh, a lot of people, uh, found that to be fun, and so, I do think that doing something like it, uh, could be pretty fun. Anyway, uh, like, I, I do think that that is the intriguing thing that I try to, like, show off in my videos. I'm glad that some people get it. So, are there any vertical biomes like uh, lush caves here? I haven't encountered one, and I believe there's not, but I can't be sure. Also, chat, I'm sorry for this, so look away if you if you have strong feelings about uh, mushrooms and their aliveness. However, I'm going to burn one because I, I just need to. So let's do it. There we go. I'm sorry, friend. You deserve that, probably. Maybe he was bad in a previous life. I don't know his life. I just know that he doesn't have one anymore. Um, new monster. <laughs> I'm in I'm in Minecraft's most peaceful biome, and yet I still insist on killing the, the wildlife. 
So uh, what happens if a portal leads to a never waste basalt deltas in Soul Sand Valley? Um, yeah, that is the risk I am taking on. I'm going to shovel up some of the local grass. Um, and I'm going to... <laughs> That's my whole plan, honestly, actually. You know, I'm going to shovel up some grass. I'm going to see where that leads me. And hopefully it's going to be good places. Uh, do you even need wood to go to the nether? Can't you repair a ruined portal and light a flint and steel? Exactly, Glebio. My plan is to get wood in the nether... But, and so to get wood in the nether, I need to find a finished ruined portal. And uh, I've got a fire charge now to light it. So I'll use the fire charge to light my finished portal. Uh, I've got two obsidian and I need three. So one obsidian anywhere in this world will get me where I need to be. Um, that is what I'm working towards right now. I'm going to eat the cooked beef chat. I'm sorry. I, I know. I know it's blasphemous, but we, we've got it sorted. Uh, there must be some chaos of Toy Cat streams. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons I like doing fun challenges, is because they make you think in creative ways. Um, and I feel like the thinking in creative ways is something that Minecraft is there to encourage, right? Um, speaking of encouraging, I am about to encourage you to... Okay, I don't, I don't see much around here, actually. Um, I'm about to encourage you to do some bad things to some mushrooms because when when survival gets hard, you know, there's one food source you can rely on and it's these guys right here. More seriously, I think... Nah, let's just go for it. Sharpness free sword. It's built for this situation. As soon as I go to the nether chat, as long as I'm not in... As long as I find woods fairly soon when I'm there, I'll be able to make a leather chest plate and so I've got all my, all my armor problems solved. I've just got to work out all my other problems too. Um, I, uh, you're in a mushroom biome, so making puns out of cow sounds and mushrooms should be a thing, uh, in a stream like this. Let's move on, says Samantha Simpson. You know, I'm also in a mushroom biome, so I could make jokes about, well, I mean, I am such a fun guy, so I, I, I like to, I like to, I like to make puns all the time, uh, not just about ways that we could, uh, move, uh, the stream forwards and how we could, <laughs> what, whatever puns are there, like, uh, I think that... I am uh, always a bit worried that my, my bovine uh, puns are a little bit behind. Um, I need need a crafting table for a furnace, says Onesius. Yeah, it's really weird how few things you can craft without a crafting table. I can craft a crafting table, or I could craft soup if I had a bowl. I could craft shears, but I don't think I can get any use out of them besides shearing out mushrooms. I can make carpet. No, wait, that's a... I can make iron carpet. Man, iron carpet's an interesting idea. I, uh, I'm, I'm starting to think what I could do with that, by the way, chat. This is a catastrophe, says <laughs> Rachel M. There we go. You know what, Rachel? Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're here for specifically that moment right there. Speaking of specifically that moment, did you know you can turn mycelium into, into path? I bet you did, but now you know it double as hard. Yeah, I, I've not seen a, a, a ruined portal in a while, chat, and that is concerning. Because I just need one more obsidian. So, the other ways you can get obsidian are you could make a diamond pickaxe. I think it's bizarre that gold doesn't work like diamond. You know, it's meant to be better than diamond, but it's also earlier game. And so, um, yeah, also, yeah, do slash game mode creative. It's the easiest way to do everything. Yeah, that's the... To me, okay, you know what, chat? That's... That is the reason why I think uh, that a lot of modern Minecraft channels run into problems real fast. It's because if you build a video on the premise of like, I've got to do this thing, but it's just for the sake of a video, it's like, well, the easiest solution is always game mode creative, give yourself the stuff. Or, you know, using, you know, save scum, whatever way you want to do it. Like you can, you always can come up with a clever solution to something, which is just, oh, I used the cheating power. Um, I think the most common one they do nowadays is like, I went back to a previous version when this rule didn't apply. And it's like, well, <laughs> going back in time um, is, uh, is, a, is a wonderful power. It doesn't really solve anything. Also, chat is really milking these cow puns. Also, you're having so much fun, says Chelsea Brown. I am having too much fun, uh, has to be said. So, um, yeah, my other plan is it's not impossible chat, but if I could get my hands on an emerald ore, um, or I could find emeralds in a... No, I, I don't think that... Yeah, I think the Wandering Trader 
is a real outside opportunity because he doesn't buy anything from you yet. They were going to make it so he'd buy things from you in the uh, the trading rebalance. But people didn't like that because they love mending too much. And so oh. no trading rebalance for the community. Um, iron carpet? Don't you mean steel wool? <laughs> I, you know, steel wool in real life, by the way. Very terrifying. I uh, I use it to clean dishes. It's uh, But it cha changes your life when you switch from a sponge to that, by the way. It's like, oh, this actually cleans things. The sponge is just there to, to put water on stuff. Um... Steel wool is the is life changing. It gets gross stuff stuck in there too. It's a the, you gotta you gotta be careful about when you use it. But um, yeah, steel wool is cool. You can you can, you could hurt a lot of people with that very slowly. You could slowly grind a body to death if you wanted to. Scrub daddy for the win. Yeah, I I, I do feel like scrub daddy actually provides a lot of the the best of the the both worlds on that one. Pro tip: um, if you don't have a scrub daddy, I uh, you, it's it's hard when it's. Or when it's wet and it's soft when it's warm or something like that it means you have a sponge and a, a bit of a steely wool. Scrub Daddy is like a C tier sponge says Boba T where are you existing where you can I want to know what is the deal in your life where you can say that confidently that there are there are two tiers above a Scrub Daddy do you live near like the, the sponge capital of the world or something? I've never I've never encountered a better one just don't use it on your pots. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, you, I, I use it on my pots. Now I don't have... You, you do have to replace them a lot more often. But if you think about it, you know, you just if you just replace everything you own every time it gets dirty, you don't even need a, a scrub daddy or a sponge. Um, anyway, so um, the important thing to say here is I'm still looking for that last obsidian. And that means exclusively looking for ruined portals. Because there's no other sign of obsidian that you can really pick up on the surface. Um... That's how he disposed of the 10 bodies, I assume, says Chillisbean13. Scrub Mummy also has a soft side for that optimal scrubbing experience, says Leanne Vendermeer. You know what? I'm glad, I'm glad you bring that up. That I, we, <laughs> This is a sign, you know what, chat? 10 years ago on these streams, we talk about like, oh yeah, so isn't the new Minecraft update fun? Now do we talk about sponges and their, their various effectivenesses? Is that, is that the, is that the sign that we've become an old man channel? Do we, do we, how, how do we reverse this incline? Do I have to start talking in, in Gen Z language? Is that, is that, is that the scoop? I prefer a scale sponge over a scrub daddy, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, you know, there's, 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 there's too many, there's too many choices in cleaning implements. This is why we should get machines to do it for us. I was reading a subreddit, uh, today, chat. It was about... Uh, there's a there's a fun there's a fun subreddit that's meant to be for like oh yeah not wealthy yet or something like that, and uh, one of the most like unrelatable things in the world on there was um, about like oh yeah one of the painful things is what do you do for childcare when you want to go skiing in France and it's like I find it's cheaper just to bring the nanny with me honestly and I was like man this is an interesting problem to have, um, and I, I I do think there's something. There's something weird about that, right? Where, you know, admittedly, like, yeah, if you had a nanny and several children and you wanted to go skiing, but you didn't want to be around... You, I, I see how that becomes a problem for you. But also, can you mine iron with gold? Let's find out. You cannot. Let's mine the other one anyway. Now there's no iron left for future me. Just in, ca just in case he had plans here. Um, next topic. What temperature do you like your mushroom stew? Says, uh... Naomi Liebers. I'm actually cooking a stew right now. Sorry, there's no actually there's no mushrooms in it, but I'm uh I'm cooking a stew to relive my childhood. It's one of those I I had like a very nice carrot recently, and I said to myself, you know what? I am gonna I'm gonna make this happen. Now the iron just teleported. Also, yeah, there is no sign of a ruined portal anywhere here, chat. I have no idea how we have such ridiculous such mountainous <laughs> mushroom biomes. Um and yet have no sign whatsoever of anything else. But that's that's the world we live in. Uh, spoiler, it was the only iron in the entire world. Yeah, the one of one of the real risks is that that might be some of the only exposed iron, and I might genuinely need it later. But this is so far away, there's no way that's true. I assume. <laughs> do you think we'll need torches at any point? Because you know, I I could do future me a solid right now. It's very rare I do this. I am. A big fan of making things future me's problem. But today, let's do future me a favor. There we go. Look look at all of this all of this all of this coal that future me is gonna be able to make into torches. So so much coal. I'm gonna be able to fuel furnaces. 
and light up entire strongholds. Uh, it's going to be wonderful for future me. So we are now about half an hour into a challenge, which should be the easiest one. I think a lot of people are saying like, yeah, mission biome just isn't that hard. And you notice how we don't have a single crafting table. I, I'm starting to think this challenge is actually pretty hard. Run, run. You can't even mine gold with gold. Yeah, that's one of the weirdest things. You can, you can mine every other tool with the tier below it for gameplay reasons. But you can't mine gold with gold. You have to use a tier above it effectively. Which is interesting, right? There's, uh, I guess maybe two tiers above it. What is it about gold that makes it so hard to mine? Does anyone, anyone here run a gold mining company and can give their insight? The most you can mine gold with a stone, which is hilarious to me. I think it has to be iron, right? Uh, at least a gold block has to be iron. Um, wait, no, or rather you yeah, yeah, you, you, you need at least iron for gold, even though gold is lower than stone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, gold is gold is between wood and stone, you could argue. I, I think it's in reality got, like, characteristics of diamond, characteristics of wood uh, mixed together. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I think it's hard, then turns soft, says Erodit. You know what? That's, uh, that's a very real problem we should not be shaming gold for. Um, once you get to the nether, it's not really a challenge anymore. I think like every challenge, we still have to deal with the bedrock never. I, I think, I used to say to myself like, well, the, the bedrock never is not really that hard. But the number of deaths we have there, the, the fact, I, I think everyone can affirm this, right? Like going to the never on bedrock is just rolling the dice. Um, and can you, can you cope with a one or a two? Because you better believe that those are way more likely than the fives and the sixes. So, yeah, there is no sign of a ruined portal, which we need uh, to get this going. And the never is the scariest part of this challenge. Um, also, um, so cat loving the gold shaming, says Digging Troops. It's good to see you, Digging Troops. I hope you're doing wonderfully today. I, I think gold does need to be shamed. Someone needs to speak some sense into it. Um, owner of a multi-billion dollar gold mining company here. I can't mine any more gold of the tools I make with gold. Never making that mistake again. <laughs> yeah, gold is one of the most intriguing materials because it's it's really rare and valuable, but it's also really soft, right? I think it's, uh, like, if you take a gold coin, it doesn't actually work that well. It gets quite malleable. You know, that's why we don't actually put gold in coins now, right? Gold is Gold is too valuable to be used as coins. We just use copper now or zinc or something like that. Is it copper or is it zinc? It's, or maybe it's copper. It's an alloy, I guess, is what it is. I think everything is an alloy, though. Like, uh, if you if you think about, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to talk about metal engineering, but I, what I will talk about is how if I was the CEO of a multi-billion-dollar mining company, I would use that power to find ruined portals in Minecraft. Chat, what's the what's the scoop? Also, what are you drinking? Take a guess, chat. What am I drinking today? Uh, you have to tell me the answer. Um, copper is an element. Bronze is an alloy. Yeah, copper... Yeah, no, no. Bronze is made from... Yeah, copper and... Uh, the other one, tin. <laughs> That's my runescape knowledge poking through here. I don't know if there's any truth to that. So none of these caves have lush caves in. Which is making me think they don't exist at all here. Yeah, that's that's gotta be it. That's gotta be the truth right there. Uh, water with rust in it from copper. You know, water... I, have, did you know, there's some weird thing. If you do put copper in water, it does purify it some really weird amount. I have no idea what the science on that is or why. There's a, there's a lot of weird facts in life. That, like, the only reason we understand anything is because people can simplify it in terms that seem like they make sense to us already. Like, no one actually wants to learn, like, astrology or nuclear physics or anything. And so if you want to try and explain, like, quantum mechanics... You never just explain quantum mechanics the way it actually works. You use the joke, um, the you know the you know the Schrodinger's cat, right? Uh, that was a that was a joke made up by some Danish physician who thought it was hilarious that you could argue that a cat was both dead and alive till you open it, and he was trying to mock the idea. But it actually became the most popular explanation because people could understand the joke. Like we will understand wrong things that we can understand before we'll try to understand right things that we can't. Um, it's something I try to think about a lot as someone who is, I guess, like, what's the word? Like, uh, edu edu educational, but in Minecraft, right? Uh, I, I also have various other things. But uh, trying to explain a concept 
is quite hard, actually, because you need to explain it so simply that it is perfectly understandable, while also staying true. Because you can understand, you can explain anything simply if you want to, like, oh, ch uh, soy cat, how does, how does the, um, why does the sun rise in the east and set in the west? And it's like, there's a big, there's a big, um, there's a big explosion every morning in the, in the Quasmok galaxy, and it launches the sun up, and then there's like a magnet on the other side that pulls the sun down. And that's, that's how the sun rises that way and then sets that way. By the way, the lack of ruined portals. Seriously messing with my plan. Damn, this is uh, trying to beat Minecraft, but the only block I have access to is my selling stream is so fun, sis, <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it too. It is a, uh, there's, there's, it's, the challenge is parred down and then also scaled up entirely, right? It's fun. I like it. Um, how do you know when your mutton is not good to eat when it smells bad, says the cool Barma bros. <laughs> um, very, very fun, very fun. What's your favorite historical time period? IBX Toy Cat says Time Warper 41. Um, my favorite historical time period is, is yesterday. I like yesterday the most, uh, and the, you know, in reality though, right? Like, um, I think something fun about history students is where do you stop studying history? At what point do you say, yeah, that's not history anymore. It's modern events. You could argue that yesterday is history, but most people would say, well, that's like, it's not actually, yes, you can't study yesterday. Um, and the answer is why not? And it's because we're going to reconceptualize how we understand yesterday when we have more information. Also, took out the Minecraft teacher. Thank you, Robert. That's 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 my true. Uh, that's that's my that's my true. Yeah, that's uh that's my real true. Um, I um when I started watching, this was history. Yeah, that that even even earlier, like you could have a history lesson on what happened earlier in that history lesson, right? And that wouldn't be an entirely invalid uh form of history. It would be silly. Also, there's two blocks of sand here. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna choke. Why are there two blocks of sand there? Can I use that in any way? You know, I'm gonna go to this sand here. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bone meal it and see if it counts as a different biome. Oh, it's got seagrass and a coral. I can't do anything with that information, but I bet I could make something from it. So, can we turn seagrass into wood? No. <laughs> Yesterday is history and tomorrow is a mystery. And today is a gift, and that's why we call it the present. <laughs> okay, so Ro Roy and Raymond is already already on that. Um, Kung Fu Panda coming in strong. Yeah, I think, um, here's a new paradox for you. A history lesson about everything that has ever happened would never end because you have to detail every piece of the history lesson infinitely forever. Yeah, that is fun, actually. Also, does it have buried treasure? That's a really good question. Um, I don't believe so. Again, based on the fact that there's no beach, buried treasure always tries to generate in a beach. And without any maps to point towards it, I don't know how we would find it. I mean, I guess you could, again... Wait, there's there's a lot of things that can be solved with the chunk based solution, but I, I try to not count it as part of things. Never portals do spawn, says Brayton Goodall. Do they really now? Also, um, also I'm gonna start calling drowning choking on water. That is what drowning is, right? It it took me so long when I was younger to understand that that's like in my mind it's like if if drowning is one of your biggest fears. Just hold your breath until you die from asphyxiation. Like, checkmate, you know, you, you think you can get me, Poseidon? I, you're not gonna give me my most terrifying death, because I'm gonna give myself my second most terrifying death. But, um, yeah, I think, I think it would actually be awful to try and breathe in water, expecting oxygen, and then have your lungs be like, nope, 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 oh, whoops, made a mistake here somewhere. Um, player named Round in Air. Also, what, why have I gotten so unlucky with these ruined portals, huh? I I feel like... Also, it looks like there were no fish. Yeah, so there's no fish, chat. There's no... There's no... <laughs> ocean structures, including shipwrecks, which would be a great source of wood. There's no lush caves, and so everything we've found is pointing towards the obsidian theory being the only one. Uh, and then, even then, we're... Like, for some reason, we're finding way fewer ruined portals than you would in a normal world. It might be worth turning up the render distance even more. Just so we could see. Oh, there's the seed, by the way. It's a fun one. I, uh, 
the... I'm going to turn this up way more. Just so we can see. If there's a room port in the distance somewhere, I could be able to head straight towards it. So we'll go this way now, onto this island. And then we'll look out from there and see where that takes me. So I'm now running low on my supplies. Probably goes without saying. But I am going to have a ton of leather. So I'll make a lovely set of armor. Do fish drown when they're not in water? You know, is a fish wet? Is, is it? I don't know. I, um... The portals don't like you since my cringy steel wool jokes as Jaybird. You know, it's all your fault, Jaybird. You're right. Chat, everyone blame Jaybird. Oh, Jaybird, why would you do this to us? Don't you know we got we got we got things to do, places to be, namely a crimson forest. Um can't believe. Can't believe this would happen. Um, okay, so we're good now. <laughs> I, um, hi to get happy Saturday. Four streams ago, you promised me you'd make an iron sword. Please do so today. I got you covered. Don't, don't you worry. Iron sword today. It's happening, Ash Jones. I, uh, although actually, you know, you weren't here for yesterday's stream. So, I mean, uh, or Thursday's stream. If you're curious, I feel like we've gone in a pretty consistent stream schedule of Tuesday, Thursday. Okay, there we go. It's finally there, chat. Ruin portal. It's several thousand blocks away from where I need the obsidian. But if it just has my third piece, we'll be we'll be good. We'll we'll have it we'll have it done. So bedrock is big salmon edition, but Java is waterproof door edition. <laughs> I really don't understand the waterproof door thing. I just I I really I I think that it like why why would they do it that way? Why why would they decide that doors cannot have water around them? Like, placing a door in water would make a wet door. It wouldn't make a bunch of oxygen. If it would, then you know what? Those people in that submarine going to look at the Titanic, you know, they could have they could have saved themselves a lot of pain. But you know why that didn't work? You know, I, uh, it's funny. I'm saying all of this, but today's video is all about um, how Minecraft does, doesn't, shouldn't try to be realistic. Um, but, you know, I'm going to double down anyway. Minecraft should try to be realistic. It's, oh, third obsidian chat. Oh, what a gift. And now we got 55 iron nuggets as well. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I am going to now. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I think we should just go back. It's, it's annoying. It's a long journey. But at least it's a journey with my obsidian in hand. And as long as I don't place one of these down by accident, because I wouldn't be able to get it back up, We'll do just great. And that's why I'm going to keep it very safely next to my raw beef, which I do have to press the right mouse button for. And we'll be good. So good news, chat. We have our obsidian. We can go to the nether. And then we can finally get wood so we can craft a bucket or whatever else. <laughs> it, it, and it, the, there's something just beautiful to me about this. Um, so, Kat, you're definitely my favorite Minecraft YouTuber and in my top five favorite content creators. You know, who else is in your top five? T tell me who you watch. What's in your... Who, who's I? Uh, you know I uh, I I uh, for my ego purposes, chat. You have to include me in your top five. But what? Uh, who who else is in your top five as uh, YouTubers? Let me let me do some. Uh, I l let me hear about some names that I may or may have not heard about before. Because uh, I'm curious. You know I one of the weird things about my career path as a YouTuber is I started as a tiny YouTuber for years, like <laughs> five five six seven years, like uh. Uh, I'm, I'm the stereotype of that channel that's like, you know, keep uploading and getting 10 views and one day you might get 100 views and then maybe 1,000 and then 10,000 or something like that. Um, so then, like, it went to being, like, a medium channel. And then I'd say there was, like, a a year there where it was, like, a medium big. Maybe maybe even you could just say large by itself. Like, I I only learned recently there's only 1,000 uh, gold play buttons in the UK or 1,200. And I have one of those and I was like, ooh. I, that's, like... Depending on whether that, like, is being in the top 1,000 huge or actually not that big. It's it's hard to be sure. But now, like, one of the weird things is, like, due to the growth of other YouTubers and the, the difference in how you measure things, the question now is, like, well, um, you know, like, as a medium YouTuber, do people who watch me only watch big channels? Or do they watch, um, you know, do they watch, uh, you know, like, other medium-sized channels as well? Okay, so, uh, Mimulus, Minimap Man, Wendigoon, J-Slat. 
Um, that's an interesting one with the Joe slap there at the end there. Um, we got um, Jack sucks at life, toy cat, cookie god. Yeah, me and uh, me and Jack talk uh, a little bit here and there. I he one of the things that uh, he was one of those YouTubers who came up to me in the early days and he's like, I could not balance traveling with doing YouTube, and he was like curious about like how I did it. So I'm really happy to see that like he managed to find something that works for him that I assume allows him to travel if he wants to do that. But he, I, I don't know. I feel like looking at a successful YouTuber from the outside is a usually you can work out like yeah that's good. I hope things are good for him. Um, I uh, I get to play with one of my uh, top five Minecraft YouTubers. Uh, that's very wholesome. Also, Retro Gaming Now, Paint Explainer, um, Genetically Modified Skeptic. I haven't heard of any of those names. I could guess Paint Explainer is the the channel uh, that, uh, that recently did, like, uh, like personality types explained or something like that. You're my second favorite YouTuber, Toy Cat. Um, thank you, AG Silver Radio. The third favorite has less than a thousand subscribers. You're my top Minecraft YouTuber. Thank you, Internet. I appreciate the compliments. I'm my favorite Minecraft YouTuber too, but that's a lot lot easier for me to say. I feel like you'd enjoy mini 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 man videos. Um, you should make a psychological channel. I don't actually know psychology very well. Like I, everyone understands a. This is the thing about like. I feel like one of the things that I if I this is this is like complimenting yourself to insult yourself. I think what I can do quite well is understand the nugget of truth behind certain big ideas. Um, I think I'm very bad at articulating the science behind why those big ideas are successful. Like, I could tell you, for example, um, that we have a bias towards believing people who are more confident in their ideas. Uh, and so that, again, it leads to people who think they understand spreading their truth. You know, misinformation spreads via a lot of different metrics and uh, I, I could tell you a lot of the reasons why, but I couldn't be like, oh yeah, and here is, here is the actual, uh, the the data to back that up, and here's the the name of this psychological theory. Um, but I think like every, I think like any informed person, like learning about a lot of different subjects is interesting. Like every every subject has the nugget of gold in there that makes people curious about it. Um, right, at least that's in my opinion. Also, to cat, do you prefer V-neck shirts or U-neck shirts? Is this a U-neck shirt? I, I've, I've never seen a V-neck shirt and thought, ooh, I should wear one of them. Uh, but that might be me being weird. Maybe it's actually a cool thing. Okay, so chat, this could be my problem solved. In fact, if there's more in here, okay, there's not. There's a helmet with me though. I like that idea. And. I'm going to grab the boots because Feather Falling seems pretty good. I've now got a full Flint and Steel without having to craft one. That's a big win. And so that means I can finally get some cooked beef. But we're also going to see, is this a complete portal? Because it would save me a lot of effort if so. Okay, what do you reckon, chat? We need to see at least one obsidian down there. Ah, <gasps> oh, yeah, so we can go to the nether for one less obsidian right here. Yeah, that's worth doing, I think. Yeah, you know, why not? Let's do it. So we're going to mine this block right here, but to preempt it, you know, like to, to build up to that, I'm going to kill a few cooked mushrooms. Or I guess they're going to be cooked mushrooms. And uh, speaking of uh, cooked mushrooms, thank you for the first tip of the stream. Oof. Oof. <laughs> you know, I think that every single time. Um, but yeah, I think um, I like uh, like philosophy, psychology, history are all subjects that interest me, right? But I don't think I would ever claim that I'm an expert in any of those fields. I think that's one of the hardest things to admit. Like, especially about being... Like, I don't know, a lot of people have their ego wrapped up in how good they are at things, because a lot... Of, especially if people will tell you... if When you get a compliment a lot, um, a lot of people will be very good at just being like, yep, yeah, that is me, without truly internalizing it. They're like, if people are saying it about me and it's nice, then it must be true and that's useful to know. But I think the harder truth is to accept, like, oh, yeah, well, that is what people perceive about me. Seeing what they see, but that does not make it reality. IBX2Cat is better than you, says Hungry Warden. Yeah, I love that channel. Very, very funny guy. The new series he's been working on? Absolute killer. Speaking of absolute killer, let's go to the nether. Here, it's good there. The only thing you can be an expert in is yourself, says Digging Truths. 
Am I okay? Oh, the <laughs> I am um, not even an expert on me. Genuinely, I have, I have no clue what my favorite food is. I could tell you lobster roll. Could make a good guess at that. But I, I bet if you put a good enough pizza in front of me and say, what's your favorite food soy cat? I would say pizza. I love a good, good, good Napoli style pizza with like little, little pops of air in it. Um, it's what I would say. So chat, I'm, I'm, my plan to get wood has been thwarted a little bit by the fact that I'm not in a wood friendly biome. Uh, I'm going to dig upwards. Okay, I'm, I'm going to not do it this way. I'm going to pick a direction and stick to it. Um, oh yeah, this is not working how I want it at all. Oh yeah, that's not great. Okay, so I'm just going to place a block there. Wait for this to die down. Break it with my fist. And then just keep on going. Having having a pickaxe like this is great. Unless this happens. At which point it stops being great. Can I use my shovel? No, it's not, not going to help me. Not going to help me at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get a better sword out. And I'm just going to start punching my way to victory. <laughs> um... Bedrock doesn't uh, reset the mining time when switching items if you press the number keys. Is that true? I should have tested that. <laughs> time to dig by hand. Yeah, it's terrible. Turn your render distance up to search for a biome of wood. You know, I the problem with render distance, uh, Ag Silver Radio, is when you're when you're trapped into a when you're in a cave like this, your render distance is not the limiting factor. Also in the Never. Also, watch him hit a basalt delta. So here's the thing, that biome was a basalt delta, but you can see that we're leaving the basalt delta because the the weird sparkles are leaving. Oh no, wait, they're still here. They're coming from everywhere, so I can't even be sure where it is. Also, when you're in a 1x2 hole, render distance is not helping you. It's true, you're not boba tea, I'm glad you know exactly the truth. Speaking of the truth, by the way, thank you very much to uh, Chickens vs. Big Dogs. Um, and th at first, super chat in the live stream. I'm glad you're liking it here. Um, if you spawn in a warp forest, no matter what direction you're looking beforehand, you look straight ahead into an I would zone. like to banter anyone who didn't vote for the Savender. <laughs> I would like to banter anyone. I would like to banter anyone who didn't vote for Savannah. Yeah, that's 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 a way better tune than I went with. I need to I need to hit up my my uh, my music m musical friends there. Actually, you know, that's that's an interesting point. I um. I do actually have a musical person. I recently was having this big struggle with a video. It was uh, the Civilizations Explained. I just, I couldn't get a musical thing to happen. And I realize now I, I had the person there all along. Also, um, top three favorite films, Toy Cat Go. Also, this is, this is terrible. I just want wood chat. All I want in my life is a piece of wood. Where is it? How do I find one? Um, Toy Cat, you just walked past a block of Deep Slate Diamond Ore. Seems very likely. I, I've not have a, had a never spawn this bad in quite some time. And it is fun that now is the time for it. Oh, I hear a ghast. Okay. If there's a ghast, I'm going to see if I can F5 myself to seeing it. Okay, I cannot. Do, 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 do. Thank you for gifting a membership. I, uh, definitely very likely. I'm near a ghast right now. Does anyone have echo location to find out which one it is? Also, good to see you, Pat. Hope you're doing well today. I love when we get gifted one memberships. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. YouTube is treating memberships like a plural. It's like the word sheep, though. Like, everyone knows five sheep, four sheep, three sheep. What is what is one called? I don't... One one sheep? What's what's the scoop, chat? Um, we all just want wood toy cat. You know what? That's true. Ultimately, my, Minecraft is just a game about more efficient ways to collect wood... And really, life is about collecting wood from those around you you care about. Um, the ghasts are loud, though. He might be far away. You know, don't tell me it's true, Stella Hyper. I don't want to hear it. I only want to hear if things are close by. Also, are we still in a basalt delta? We are. So this is a huge basalt delta that I'm just mining underneath. Oh, actually, if I'm mining underneath it, I'm going to just assume that it's right above me right now. There might be lava up there. Okay, this is... That's... That did not help me. It's not above me right now. <laughs> oh, um, it's the same way as Moose and Meese. Also, the singular sheep is she or Shep. You know, Shep's pretty convincing. 
This challenge be like, you start on the safest biome in the game, but you have to go to hell to get basic materials like wood, says uh, Axel Radio. Exactly. It's, uh, there's something beautiful about it, isn't there? The idea of having to almost do Minecraft in reverse. Uh, oh, chat, chat, we're there. We're finally there. Too bad. Uh, luck, Dragon didn't get the gifted membership. Is the plural of Enderman Enderman or Endermans? Logically, it's Endermans, I think we can say. Okay, okay, look at this, look at this. Oh, I can see. And, oh, it's the best biome for me, too. I'm, I'm going to have such a good time in here. So glad. It was so kind of the game to spawn me right at the edge. <sighs> okay, are we just going to do this, chat? Is that the is that the move? Okay, okay. We're just, just going to do it. We're just going to roll. I've got cooked beef. I've got some armor. I've got a decent amount, too. I need wood, and I need it real bad. And so, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fight for what I believe in. Um, okay. Are we ready? I think we're ready. I'm hoping these skeletons despawn, by the way. Hey, Julius! Thank you for coming! The 487th channel member. Welcome back. Uh, I'm running before anything can spawn here. Uh, if we just run through this biome fast enough, then everything will be gone and all of my fears will go away. And that is the plan. I've got cooked beef, so I can do this for a while. I've got no pickaxe, which was a bad decision, all things considered. Um, and there's lava over there. Do you see a new biome? I don't see a new biome, so I'm getting out. I'm going back to the base alt delta. Um, then we're going to bridge across. Look at how good this is going. And then we're going to bridge across. Look how good it's going. And then we're going <laughs> to do just wonderfully all the way. Nice. No problems here that I can see. Okay. Um, I think that was good. I think we solved our skeleton problem. Now we've just got to solve our base alt delta problem. And then also get back to the portal in time. But again, one problem at a time. So yeah, I'm still looking for wood. If you've just joined me, I have uh, made my way to the nether because there is no wood in a mushroom biome. And my plan is basically to uh, find... Because again, the, you, you can't find any wood in the overworld. But in the nether, uh, you might get lucky and find a crimson forest or a warp forest. Whoever said earlier I might only find never waste, soul sand valleys, and um, and the the basalt delta, I would like to curse you right now. I, w I would like to put a curse on you and everyone that you know, because this is this is terrible. Okay, no, it's not terrible. You know, I'm going to undo my curse. Um, it's going to be wonderfully. So, do magma cubes take no full damage? Uh, they do, but it takes- it's got a high height for some reason. Any Java players know how to solve GLFW error 65542 WGL. The driver does not <laughs> appear to support open goal. Haven't been able to play Minecraft for months. Here is dollar Mr. Dot Cat. So, my- genuinely, I, I don't think this is useful, because I'm guessing if it's been months you haven't fixed it. I would guess that the- the fix would have been to update your graphics card drivers because it sounds like OpenGL isn't working on it anymore, which is, again, I believe OpenGL is the... It's, the, it's not the set of drivers. It's the weird in-between software that makes Minecraft run. Um, but, uh, yeah, my, my second solution is uh, use that Minecraft Java because if you own Minecraft Java, you now own Minecraft Bedrock. Give it a try. Chat, I've officially found wood. It took me an hour... <laughs> How far into the stream are we? It's taken me an hour and... No, 54 minutes, sorry. But I have officially found my first piece of wood. Congratulations. So now if we want to get stone, we've got to go back to the overworld with it. Um, but, you know, because I've gotten enough goofy things, I should be good to skip that phase. Gonna make a crafting table right now. And then... How do you sleep last night, toy cat? My daughter woke me up several times, strangely. She normally sleeps better than that. I'm dragging a little. She keeps trying to nap. Sleeping face. I, um, I slept pretty well. I, so I, I actually slept really weirdly. I couldn't, I had, I, I couldn't get to sleep for a long time. I, it's an issue I've been having recently. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't want to admit it to myself. I think it's like, uh, I don't know. I just, I have thoughts every now and then where I'm like, oh yeah, this, this stuff that happened. That happened to me, didn't it? Oh, 
I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. That's that's an interesting scenario to happen to a person in general, but it's a, it's a whole thing when it happens to you in particular. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I always eventually get to sleep. It's just it's all about can you get to the phase where you pretend you're asleep for long enough, and everything is okay. Um, I've been getting there recently. Also, um, to the second half of your your question, I uh, I did not wake up several times. I uh, did ex exactly wonderfully. I I think once I get to sleep, I don't feel distracted. I definitely I definitely f do not sleep very well compared to the average person. But sometimes that's life. Am I right, internet? Am I right? Um, I uh, he can't move his portal till he has diamonds. Exactly. The the portal moving is gonna be a whole thing. Um, trying to get to sleep is weird. It feels so silly. Yeah, you gotta you gotta trick yourself, right? It's a <laughs> it's a weird it's a weird system that we use, but it works, or at least it claims to. So we want to go towards the center of this world. In general, you find your portal in four separate coordinates. We've tried negative, positive. We've gone this whole way, not found anything. So now we're gonna try negative, negative. I guess is the simplest one. So we'll walk this way a bit, and then we'll walk this way, or this way. The e one's fine, I guess, as long as we do both eventually. So now I'm going to make a... I've got a lot of wood. I'm going to throw away this dandelion. Or actually, let's throw away more useless things first. Throw away the nuggets. Throw away the boots. I like the boots, honestly. Throw away... Actually, let's, let's craft that armor. I said I'd do it. I'm a man of my word. Let me make some mushroom armor. Oh, isn't this isn't this powerful? Yeah, it is. And then I'm gonna make a shield because it's the never and you know you never know. Uh, quite literally here. And then make a ton of this, by the way. Just eh, leave it there. I'm gonna get rid of these seeds because they're easy enough to get somewhere else. And then I'm going to choose with my last six iron to make a pickaxe. I think good idea. And then we'll make a sword. Wow, I I am choosing that. And it is going to go well for me. Iron sword has been picked. I think that's as good as I'm going as far as as far as far stuff goes. Make sure I have a block of stuff out. In fact, let's combine these two stacks together. And there we go. Solid inventory layout. Let's go find another fortress. And then let's go find a uh, uh, place to find the, the enderman. So yeah, going that way is going to be miserable for me. And so we'll go this way instead. Um, up this way. See where it takes me. Oh, this is miserable as well. So I've just got to go down. Or I could go this way a bit more first. Oh, that's miserable too. You know, I've got a lovely miserable biome. What could make it better? The finding hoglets, that's what. So stack, stack, and then stack, 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 stack. Just make sure there's no way he's following me as I go up and into the sky. Yeah, from here I might... I don't know. I, I, I don't know what my actual strategy is sometimes in the nether, besides cover a lot of ground. But, it's not a bad strategy. It, it does do the job. And, uh, you know you know what I want more than anything else, chat? Is a wind charge. If I could jump around with wind charges right now, I would be having a grand time. Um, okay, so that's a uh, ghast. That's not my problem. Go, did you just write down the coordinates of where you got to the surface? Um, did not write those down. I will find it later. <laughs> you know, chat, if I just die before then, it won't even be a problem. So that's that's my that's my solution. I could more realistically find a ruined portal here. I've still got an obsidian on me. So I'm not Yeah, it, it could go well. You know, let's 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 think positively, not negatively. See, I I'm so positive I can kill a ghast. Hey, so positive I can find another fortress. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, it's a weird one. But it's, it's a good weird one, actually. Look at that. Free chest. Yes, please. Um, I'm going to make another... We're going to quickly just place down crafting table. Uh, right there. Just so I can make two more nuggets. I'm going to trade with those and desperately aim for some ender pearls. But first... Hello, friend. I, I crouched long before he shot me. Can we all agree on that? Okay, so now they're going to shoot each other. And in the meantime... Okay, they're not going to. Come on, fellas. You're shooting each other. Oh, it's bouncing off my shield. That's why it doesn't count. Uh, oh, okay. I shouldn't have gone around here. Should not have done that. Um, okay. 
So, things are fine, really. Yeah, things are fine. Oh, things aren't fine. Okay. I'm doing great, chat. Okay. Doing fine. Doing relatively wonderful. And I've made a little, little corner here. And from that corner, things will be even more fine. Oh, yeah, things are getting a little laggy. I think I, uh, I doubt it's the render distance because we're in the nether. But I turned it way up so I could find portals. Let's make sure that's not responsible for it by just turning it right back down. It might have been. Coordinates for the home portal are 145, 54, 3 to 23. Thank you very much, Rachel M. That is incredibly useful information. I'm going to take this in place of my old one and grab a diamond horse armor. <laughs> I could decorate a strider with it if I get, if I, if I feel like it. This is fine, so I get everything is fine. It's always fine. You know, the the number of fires around me is never proportional to the unfineness that we find ourselves in. Um, make another jump across there. Go in the chest and a golden chest plate. So that is a technical upgrade. I've got a full set of gold armor. How often do you get to do this, chat? And uh, let's now head underground. What do we see here? I see a skeleton. Um, I think I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to block this off. Okay, that's good. As soon as, I'm gonna block this off as well. As soon as we get rid of those blazes, or as, as the wither skeletons, we'll get all the blaze rods we need. No problems whatsoever. This is the chillest never ever. I went from not having wood to having blaze rods in how long? I think I spent three hours on the no end world. On what I am about to do in seconds, it looks like. Um... So yeah, this is, oh my god, look at this. Weird, weird nether portal. Um, but I'll accept that, ouch. I'll accept it. This is actually a good nether portal. It's a weird one, but a good one. Also, thank you, McBella, for being a member for 44 months. I did not realize it had been so long. It is, it is cool to me. One of the, I've been reflecting on this recently, chat. You know, sorry, sorry to have a long response to everything. But I've been reflecting on what it means to be a YouTuber recently. Um, and kind of one of the differences between like now and the past. Like you know it's in what you watch, you know it's in everything. Um, and one of those is like, man, yeah, making YouTube into a sustainable long-term thing is hard because everything seems like it's built on short-term, you know, like challenges, goals, and trends and all that noise. Um, but it's cool whenever there is someone who's been here for the length of that. Um, and so it's, I, I really appreciate it. That's a delightful amount of time to be a member, says Rue. You know what, Rue, why haven't you been a member for 44 months? You, you've been here for that long. What's, what's your excuse? Also, take out what you mean about the recent retirement of a lot of YouTubers. It's, I, okay, you know, I, I've let, I've let people sit on the topic for a while. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's, 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 oh, it's misleading, right? It's, uh, it's, it's not. Most YouTubers aren't retiring. Um, Tom Scott is backing away from doing his main series, Interesting Places or whatever it's called. Um, Captain Sparkles just said, I'm going to have to retire at some point if things keep going the way they do because I'd rather retire than scrape the bottom of the barrel. And the 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 game theorist guy said, Matt Pat said, uh, that he is going to stop presenting the videos so we can spend time writing movies or something. Uh, no one is retiring. People are just doing things besides presenting. Uh, and that's that's pretty logical, huh? <laughs> I, I think it's weird because everyone else made a bigger deal of Tom Scott's retirement than he did. Um, he made a cool thing at the end of 10 years of a series going after virality. Um, but, you know, that's cool. Sparks is more just pulling back from edited content. He's still doing Minecraft live streaming and posting the VODs. Yeah, so years ago, like in the when when I was starting YouTube, like in terms of when I when my when 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 I when I went from being a small to a medium-sized YouTuber, a lot of the large YouTubers from before me started switching over to making live streams. It is a more direct, you know, making the content to having the content being made pipeline, and it means you can do the part of the videos that you probably enjoy the most. Um, and so there has always been a movement in that direction. Um, arguably, the real end goal for a lot of people is to stream. Being a sh like, um, 
I don't know, like, uh, at least people my age, right? When I, uh, I'm, I'm 28, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, in, in during my 20s, very few people in my life have said, yeah, I'd like to be a YouTuber. The number of people who bought the gear and went through so much effort to become a streamer is much higher. That's the actual dream, right? Is Like, YouTubing means, like, running a business and working out thumbnails and the meta and, oh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, like, tell stories and all that noise. Being a streamer means, like, oh, yeah, like, I'll play some video games and people will watch me. It doesn't actually mean that, we've learned since, but, like, that's the, uh, that's what people like to imagine it is. Uh, also, by the way, this was an incredible never. Nothing went wrong. I <laughs> let's hope that continues. So next up, we've got to find some uh, Ender pearls. I've got seven gold, and oh, okay. I've got seven gold, and I'm so glad I got all those uh, pork ch cooked beefs. By the way, made a big difference to my survivability in this dimension. Um, okay, this is a dead end. So I'm going to let the skeleton attack the zombie piglin. <laughs> oh, I love that. This is my favorite. Hey, oh, I shouldn't. Wait, how How did. Oh, there. Okay, this is my tunnel. Okay, we're going to let the blaze attack the piglin too now. Go for it. Go for it, buddy. Oh, okay. Don't both go for it at the same time. I should not have given you that challenge. That was on me, to be fair. So we just want to get out of here. Honestly. Pro tip, if you ever are just trying to get out of the game and blazes won't let you, you just you could just climb you just mine the top of the ceiling at any point and start stacking yourself out there. You never know it might work out. Gray! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, uh, that's fine. That's that's fine. Um just check my subscribe to the channel in June 2017. It's years, seven years ago now. Um every time I say nothing went wrong, something goes wrong. Says Anakin Skygore. You know it's crazy that that keeps happening, and I still, I still will say it. I am not learning from my mistakes. Uh, we're gonna try trading seven. It's not gonna go well. No, no, no. I don't think I want a baby pickle into to trade. I think he ruins my odds a little bit. Um, yeah, he, he, he's he's not old enough to trade yet, so he just takes the gold and doesn't give anything in exchange. It's like real life. You 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 give money to a child. You know what the child's gonna do? Oh, obsidian. Nice. If you give money to a child, you know what the child's going to do to you? He's going to say awesome. He's going to say that was lovely. Okay. Um, out of the fire, into the hoglin. <laughs> okay, so where should we go to find a bastion? I know we shouldn't go to the basalt delta. Um, so we're just going to go find a blue forest. Um, which I think is going to be about even odds everywhere, right? So... We'll just go this way, across the, because I, where I found the, oh, Christ. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go across the piglin biome. I've only got two obsidian, so I still need a pretty decent ruin portal. But I can, I can come out of this on top. Uh, I am gonna run out of food soon, so I think hoglins might, might be a good bet, just to, just to keep alive. Or I could make bowls, actually. I've, yeah, I can, I can, I've, I've got the mushrooms prepared, and then there's a whole biome made of it back home. Yeah, honestly, solid never. St gonna gonna stick to that status. Gonna place a block here, jump over it, and um, but yeah, the every I think I sometimes I forget the difference between what knowledge is generally understood by the average YouTube viewer and what like feels like it's obvious to me as someone who like has always since the beginning been trying to work out how to do this like sustainably. I I loved uh, making YouTube videos. It was always like a uh, a thing that I aspired to do in the longer term sense of that. And one of those has been the streaming jump that people made. Because it became like the off. The, it was basically. It's basically like, uh, I don't know, like it's like the offer's always there. It's like uh, being headhunted, except like every streaming platform would love to have you if you have a following already. This is how it works for every streaming site. It's also how it works for, I don't know, OnlyFans and stuff like that. Uh, the way that you become successful is by having an audience already and then converting them to somewhere where um, where you hopefully do things maybe that you like more and that your audience likes more too. Uh, YouTube has to be mass appeal, mass market, whereas, I don't know, let's, let's light this on fire by the way. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna try my best to light them all on fire. We're gonna see how well that works for me. I don't know what's happening here. 
It just doesn't seem to be in my interest. Okay, so... There we go. Light, light it on fire. Yeah, nice. Oh, okay. Not nice. So, my plan is not going perfectly. Gonna level with you. This is not how I imagined this would be going. But, uh... Otherwise... Okay, come on. Just head up. Yeah, otherwise... Otherwise, it's good. Besides the ways in which it's failing, my plan is succeeding immensely. <laughs> okay, light, light you on fire. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, friend. You can do this. You can You can become part of my meat factory. Perfect. So now we've got some extra cooked pork chops. A solid six of them. And that should see me through this. I'm going to trade out the fire charge for the raw dogs. And we'll be good. Um... Do you have enough stone to create a furnace? Oh, yeah, I do, actually. No, I do not. Well, I have enough uh, black stone. It's weird that you can't mix stone and black stone together. Because then I'd be able to, like, consolidate my stacks. But I kind of can't. It's fine, though. Um, also, what is it with you and licking Minecraft and OnlyFans in the nicest way? Oh, it's uh, it's basically the same thing. Minecraft and OnlyFans, like, uh, I, I, I cannot see a distinction between them. I... <laughs> You know, some people, uh, you could say, they're, they're selling selling their body parts. And some people sell, uh, you know, their experience of uh, hoglins in the never. But it's all it's all the same. If you don't agree with that, then you're, you're anti... You, 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 you get your woke card revoked. Because that's not okay. Hashtag support our sex workers. Um, I, I do think that there is a, a weird... Um, I, I do think there is a weird link between everything online that you can be paid for. I, I would I would link Fiverr into this as well. Like every one of these sites relies on you having a you, you know like a any way that you can make money from a little bit of money from lots of people relies on having some way for lots of people to come towards you. Every artist on Twitter has this struggle of like um, there's this there's this painful like mismatch between. There are artists who would love to draw things to make money to do all their noise. And at the same time, uh, there are artists who are like, yeah, I don't actually take uh, commissions. You can't... If you if you give me money and tell me to make something, I won't make it. That is not... Hey, a bastion! <laughs> nice. Um, it's, it's weird, uh, right, that there is this mismatch. And it's because humans tend to congregate in the... Same places. Toy Cat, turn on the story time texture pack. Yeah, actually, I think I will. I, I've been meaning to find a good stream to use it. Let's turn it on right here, right now. Um, it didn't work last time I tried. Um, this, this is my recent favorite uh, mesh, recent favorite texture pack. It's available right now. Um, it was really nice that the guy, the people who made it, they, uh, they've offered, like, because uh, I featured it in the video and said it was great. They said uh, they'd be willing to... Also, thank you, um... Support and sponsor course, Mr. Iron some content Brew, with it. And Mountain Dew thinks there's no difference between Minecraft and OnlyFans. <laughs> I, I mean, if you could, if you could find the difference for me, I'd love, I love for you to test. So, but isn't this a slightly nicer Never now? I do think the Never is one of the places this texture pack shines. It looks like a Never, but just a little bit nicer. Um, I think, I think this is the place to be. So, um, have you used constant aspects in a video? Says, uh, Sacrificial Lamb 456. Uh, no, but there is a very good reason as to why. Um, I am very excited about the reason as to why. I am very excited. Let me tell you. So, okay. I am doing this wrong, and that's fine. <laughs> I wonder what I'm going to find at the top here. Is this even... You know, let's make some slaps. I've got... I've only got so many, uh, of these to use. Let's go for it. So I'll make some slabs right now. Crimson slabs all over. And we'll just stack to the top. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I I do think uh, that like the, the people behind the text pack have been like exceedingly gracious about the whole thing. And I like that. I I do think it's, uh, you know, they, they have not been uh, pouring me out for my... I don't know. What the, I, I, I was going to link it into OnlyFans, but we'll, we'll avoid that for now. Um, so this is one of those big room bastions, which means... Uh, oh, look, look at the hoglin, by the way. Do you think he can jump down here? I hope he can't. I desperately hope he cannot. 
And also, I don't want to... We'll, we'll let him on fire with the flint and steel. Uh, let that run for a bit. And then, there we go. Oh, no! Oh, it's... Okay. So, I'm guessing based on the side, the bastion that we see at the top there, I'm actually better just mining in here. Seeing where it takes me. Oh. That is a hoglin. I mean, a piglin. He would accept my gold if I were to offer it to him. Uh, so I can't open any chests while these guys are around. And we have to find the piglin brute. Because I don't think I've seen one of those in this yet. I'm guess. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm just going to knock you off the side there. There we go. Gone. <laughs> um, I guess we could just do that for all of the piglins, right? It's just... Make their lives harder when it comes to getting to where I am. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just... Let's make a singular choke point, and then they'll all have to come through here, and all of my problems will go away. Yeah, that seems like... I, I'll use the Neverack for now, just because I picked some up. Um, I'm going to be very careful about this, but I am here for the gold, and the gold looks like it's just a layer or two above. So now what we'll do is I'll climb up a layer or two above. Uh, probably about where the crafting table is, feels right. And hopefully we're in the ceiling somewhere. We're not, but that's fine. I'm going to remove this block here. And now the only way to get in there is by being me. So I think I'm still a block away from the entrance. Of like a layer of height or two. Uh, but we'll look around. We're gonna... I, this, is, this is the type of bastion I am most cautious about, chat. I, I need to improve my bastion skills. And this is the time. But yeah, so I... Um, I have even more incentive to promote the Storytime Texture Pack now, chat. It Not only can you find the world's best Minecraft painting. Wait, actually, let's, should we go find it right now? Okay, chat. Chat. If you, if you haven't seen this yet, I, uh, I, I strongly implore you to take a glance. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take the string, turn it into wool. Put the wool instead of where my saddle... I'm just going to give up on it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dandelion, but you're just not needed anymore. The wheat as well, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with you, wheat. Okay, dandelions, mm -hmm. and that is going to go. So then we can make some cramps, some planks, then we can make some sticks. And then we have enough sticks to make a painting. Is, is, it, is a painting made of sticks or wood? I thought it was just, oh, then we have to go to the crafting table. And then we can make the painting. And then with the painting, we can do the best thing imaginable. <laughs> this is worth it, chat. Don't, don't question it. Okay, break that one. And this one. And this one. And then that one. There was some already some salmon in that one, which is nice. Um Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get there soon, chat. We're gonna we're gonna be here real, real soon. Or maybe we're not. I think actually judging by how this is going, I'm I'm guessing maybe not. Anyway, it's, it, you, you can find the world's most beautiful painting in this pack. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my video on my new favorite texture pack. Okay, so a big salmon. I, I do love that it looks like they already had a salmon painting in there, though, right? Let's go back for it. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna find it. Go back for the, the salmon. Look at that. There's already a big salmon painting and some clownfish hanging around, too. Uh, so, yeah, this is the story time texture pack. I'm a fan of it. Would recommend, um, but now I need to disclose. Uh, sponsored by the pack, um, which is cool. I'm very pleased to have an arrangement like that. Okay, so now I'm going to stack up a few times, and I'm going to hope there are no brutes around. To be honest, I've, I've got a shield, but that's the last thing you need when you see brutes. I I just didn't realize how many layers a bastion had. To be totally honest. You think you think it's fewer than it is, and then and then you feel wrong and dumb. Oh, that's the problem I was just talking about. And uh, we're gonna run across this, and then across this, and then over here, and then he's not gonna be able to make the jump, but he's gonna do something really dumb, right? He's gonna. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm feeling good about my handling of the situation. I'm going to stack up nice and high. Go over here. And this is the way to the gold, I believe. Yeah, it is. So the gold is scary. Um, but that's okay. 
We're going to mine the gold, then we're going to run in this little hidey hole. If that goes poorly for us, we will fall. And so now there's a little stop gap for me. I need a space for all this gold. I've got a space for the gold. Let's just let's just get it. Let's go. Okay. Um, in we go. So that's two gold pieces gotten. No piglins seem to mine too bad. If they do mind, then they'll fall in the hole. Uh, as is intended. I don't have any real way to move them otherwise. I could just start killing them, I guess. But they'll knock each other off and they'll, they'll make it. They'll make their problems worse. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I can now happily leave this place with two gold blocks. But I want more, right? And obviously, I'm not in the business of getting two gold and leaving. And so let's stack up. Now let's go for the rest of these. So yeah, piglins have very short memories, thankfully. Um, but especially uh, this type of piglin. So now we're going to go up to the top that way. Oh yeah, that's, this is what I should do. Okay, next time I'm on a on a big bastion like this, just, just work out that the top leads somewhere if I can just look around. And from this top, I'm going to get the, get those ender pearls going. So where's the gold at? Anyone seeing it? It's usually on this side, actually. Oh, that's a scary... That's a scary uh, jump to have to do. But now we're going to abseil down. Uh, I'll use some Neverack for this. I've got a full inventory, but it's fine. I'm going to abseil down this chat. It's silly to go abseiling in Minecraft, some would say. Uh, but it's fun. Let's let's be real. It's fun. So we we move out a few blocks so we can check where the gold is. There's one, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to go for it. In the easiest terms possible. We're going to go for the gold. And then we're going to trade it to make good things. Um, what happened to the Eula breaking stream, says uh, Sacrificial Lamb 456. When did I do a Eula breaking stream? <laughs> uh, it sounds like me. It sounds like a hilarious thing that I would do. So, um, bastions are like onions. They have layers. You know, maybe maybe onions are like bastions in that they have layers. You ever think that it's a pretty onion-centric view of the world to assume that it's the bastions that are like onions? You know, you should reconsider uh, your biases, maybe, uh, sometime. Okay, so we're going to go back out over here and work out what layer we're going to mine more gold at. So I think you're yeah, about where we are right now, and then also further down there. The gold generates some weird and not perfectly learnable ways. But that's just fine. In we come. Okay, gold block. Yes, I will have you. Nice. Um, and then there's another one just over here, right? So let's go get it. I'm really hoping there's no piglins that come to ruin my day. But we are in a structure filled with them. So I can't rule out that as a possibility. And let's come in. And just uh, make, make it a bit harder for them to get up here. Okay, no piglins on top. Looks about right. No other staircases. I think that actually there is a staircase here. Weirdly. Only one of these staircases goes to the right place. And I never get it right. But it's not too consequential to death, right? Oh. Speaking of consequences. Looks like they've come to come get me. Ooh. Um Yeah, I think uh I think we should all consider in our lives that everything everything we do comes with a serious amount of bias. Because how can you truly understand the world? But a lot of people... Oh, by the way, there is more gold there. A lot of people think that, oh, it is reasonable to... Oh, there's so much gold in there that I could get. Yeah, going... Okay, let's, let's go in and mine it, actually. Let's just do it. Let's just treat myself to a few more gold blocks at the game's expense. Um... I think that a lot of the times, like, just, like, acknowledging a bias is way more important than trying to, like, undo a bias. Um, because also, if you, like, even if, even, like, I, so I know people say that a lot, but they're like, oh yeah, but, like, undoing a bias is better. But actually, it makes you much less able to communicate with other people with that same bias, which is often the most important thing in undoing a negative bias, right? Is, like, meeting someone halfway from where they are on something. It's one of the weirdest things about 
Again, one, one of the weird skills about being a YouTuber, I think, is uh, the word relatability. <laughs> is you are ultimately trying to work out um, what it is that people... Oh, how did you get here? Why did you get here? It was going so well, chat. It was going so well. How did he get there? Where from? Where did he spawn? Chat, how did... I, I'm glad all of my stuff is on the same little platform here. I'm so, Also, I'm, I, I, love, I love that it's raining. <laughs> it's a nice texture pack to enjoy the rain in. Um, I can, I can live this through. Also, thank you, Naomi, for saying I was, uh, I was your favorite YouTuber, or the most watched YouTuber earlier. It was a compliment I took highly. You know, let's think about the positives on life. Positive one. Inventory clutter? Couldn't be me. <laughs> Positive number two. Weather outside is... Frightful. The 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 sun it's so delightful. The 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 I don't I don't that's there we go. That's good. That's about done. Out of rage quit. I love your positivity. <laughs> you know, it's it's nice. I think uh I think confronting a bad situation with negativity is hardwired into us. If you didn't do that, you wouldn't survive very long. However, I also think that almost every re modern day situation, basically every situation of your own creation, you being angry at it never makes it go away. Um, run to get your stuff. You got this. Okay, let's do it. We got we got a long run ahead of us, chat. So we're going to make it count. Oh, what do you think this is? Gravel? Yeah. it's It looked like gravel. But I was a little confused at the end there. Also, I hope some of it didn't despawn. So some of it fell in lava. If my gold blocks fell in lava, pain. If my blaze rods fell in lava, pain. If any, if just those two items have survived, I got this chat. I mean, even the blaze rods I could get more of. So, um, thank you, Days and Confused, for saying 205, 62 is the never death. So, once I get in the never, I could easily recreate what I had. Also, actually, let's, um, I can't sleep. If there wasn't any rain, I'd be able to find some, uh, things on the way. You get, bla you got blaze rods easy. Yeah, I think I've got a decent thing for it. So, also, wow, I, fi I am finding a ruin portal on the way. This one is really nice, too. Look how good it looks in this texture patch, chat. This is this is what I This is what I am talking about when I when I say I like this pack. It's just so nice. So smooth. I have a financial incentive in saying that now. Uh but I, I really do like it. So gold pickaxe, flint and steel. Uh fire charges. The fire charges will get me some cooked beef to survive this. Worst case, they get me some cooked the other stuff. Um yeah, okay, you know, the, the, this this can help. This this pickaxe can help me mine through the never too. It's really good. I am loving this texture pack, says Digging Troops. Is your render distance um, up? Uh, wait, what is your, it? It's hidden behind the heart in my chat there, Chantal. <laughs> Someone else has to say something for me to read your chat. Oh, the food icons are corn. You like corn? That's that's the best bit. Also, yeah, my, um, my render distance is... Uh, set to uh like the normal amount but the uh the rain is cancelling that out i think one of the dumbest minecraft features i i'm actively upset by this because i know it i know it's realistic but minecraft please um please please don't do it also low render distance when you're in the nether it might help with despawning it's a little known thing that it's not render distance it's simulation distance might help you out. Realism in our block game, says Xavier. You raised it earlier. Was thinking about never stuff despawning. Oh, no, I, I lowered it again. Uh, I think in the never. Also, yeah, it's, uh, it's down to simulation distance. Um, time for me to go to work. Catch you later, says Rue. Wait, Rue, before you go. I'm, I'm making a you. I'm making a, a you in my stew. 
that I'm, I'm making a roux in my stew, and I thought that you would like to know, and so I hope you do. Uh, and if not, then say boo, because that is all that I have for you. Um, it's corn. I tried it with butter and everything changed. I, um, yeah, uh, okay, chat. Actually, so I've got, I've got a little bit of spare time on my hands while I'm walking towards this. Oh, the rain is gone. Oh, thank God. Look at this, by the way. Render distance going right back up. Um, chat. I, can I, can I, can I confess something to you? Last night, I, um, I was there with myself. Um, uh, as, as, as we, as, as we all ultimately spend our, our last conscious moments of our life and day. Um, but I, I was by myself and I was, I was, uh, desperately trying to get to sleep. And an idea came into my head. It was realm review, but blank. And I was like, that's a really good idea. I, I think, uh, you know, like, uh, I think people like realm review when it's got a gimmick to it. Like, I think people find it to be boring, maybe, lazy. I'm, I'm not here to judge or ouch. <laughs> maybe I should be. You, you can judge me, that's for sure. Um, but I, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I was, uh, I had an idea. I just remembered it right now. Also, yay, hot liquid root, no lumps, whisk well, and let it come to a boil. Yeah, I'm making stew right now. It's, uh, I've, uh, I've never had good stew as an adult, but I got a bunch of stuff for it from, a uh, from, a uh, too good to go order. Uh, by the way, Twig Cat, do you realize that you need to go to the Never? Ooh. Yep, yeah, that's where I'm heading right now. I'm heading to the Never. Don't you worry. Also, um, I'm not here to judge. Then what is the point of a review? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? I'm gonna review Kieran Brand. Uh, zero out of ten. Don't like the logical inconsistencies that he points out. Um, yeah. Uh, the other idea I need. Okay, so I, I remembered it. Chat. Tell me if you like this. I meet. This is one of those things where explaining a problem to someone often is enough to give you the solution. Uh, tell me if you like this idea for realm review chat. Realm review, but I'm exclusively going to people's nevers. Um. I think I'm gonna do that. First restaurant to try in London says cooking. Are you coming to London cooking? I have to wait. Usually, usually in a real conversation, it'd be like yeah or nah. This is just a random question. But now I have to sit here and wait uh, 15 seconds or slow mo period, and then also I have to wait for him to type. So uh, we're outside is frightful. The the life is so delightful. This is how Dora feels. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm enjoying that too much. I, um, you know, I, I should do Minecraft, but it's Dora the Explorer. Um, oh no, chat, I've died in the nether. What should I do now? You're saying I should just give up and die? Sounds good to me. No, but it's on the bucket list, says cooking. Okay, so I, I do think... Okay, I, I, I've got to avoid being too philosophical about a question asking where to go for food. But I can't do it. I want to go to London again. Last time I didn't speak English yet, Lamel. If you come to London, Leanne, you gotta, you gotta let me know. Um, well, well I'll, 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 I'll buy you a beverage. Um, I feel like I owe you one at this point. Uh, maybe, maybe several. I'll buy you a, 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 a I, I, I don't even know what any Dutch beverage is. I, I could name, I could say like, I know I know. there's the one beer from the Netherlands. That's about all. I would love a Dora the Explorer stream with polls for every impasse, says uh, Expeditious One. That's what I should call my next democratic Minecraft stream. Minecraft, but it's Dora the Explorer. Bielenberg. Um, yeah, there's a, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a few, there's a, there's a few surprisingly Dutch food places I like in London too. Um, you should just go exclusively to them. Okay, so cooking. Here's the deal. I think the weird thing about food recommendations is that they're always going to, in some part, reflect the author's bias about what they want at the time. There is no objectively best restaurant in the world because I don't know. Like my the 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 food that might be best for me would be perhaps. Um, 
Also, England, Scotland, and Ireland are next to my travel list, says uh, Riggins Rally Girl. You know, I, I, I would have to say, of the three, I feel like the problem with starting with London is it's the biggest city. But also, it's no question. If, you come, if you're coming to the UK from overseas, you've got to start with London. There's, there's no question. There's, a, there's a, any, any other way of doing it, and you're just going to... You, you miss, you're you missing the, the big one. It'd be like going to America and saying, I don't want to go to New York City. I'm just going to go to Sioux Falls, Iowa. And then I'm going to go to Boise, Idaho. And then and then maybe if we got some time, I'll go to Jackson, Montana. Wait, Jackson, Wyoming? Jack you that one of, whichever state has a Jackson. <laughs> and it's like, well, I mean, that's like, you know, you, 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 I don't know how that works. Um, also, look how cute the mushrooms are. Oh, uh, chat, I didn't see the mushroom till just now. Oh, look how cute they are. <laughs> look at the faces. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, having a flint and steel is a game changer for this. Oh, no, don't go in the water. Don't do it. Don't do it. You need to die on land. Um, yeah, I, um, I think that the, uh, I, th I think that, like, for example, one of my favorite foods is, like, the KFC Double Down. That was the perfect food for me a lot of times. And I, I think that for a lot of people, like, a good street food market is going to be so much better than a Michelin-starred restaurant. But also, London has some of the best Michelin-starred restaurants. If your budget coming into it is you just want a world-class experience that you go home and you think about for the rest of the year... Um, like some of the best food in, in Europe is found in London. We, we used to be stereotypically very bad at food, uh, but we took it quite personally. We've gotten good at that since. Um, or I would say actually though, the thing the UK does best that other countries don't do at all. When I donated, I honestly thought you would just make a joke about it, but you didn't, which inspired me <laughs> to try again. And after months, I got my hey, cat to work again. Dot, thank you, Mr. Dot cat. You're welcome. I Fake cat, I'm so glad it worked for you. Also, always good to be honest with ourselves, at least. You know what? Um, um, is, is anyone truly honest with themselves? Or do we all... You know, there's a that's too deep. Where, where I uh, also my portal is at 1810, 1230. So we're gonna go this way and this way a bit more. I, I have no idea who Fake Cat is. It's my it's my tax ploy. If I funnel money to myself via tips, then I won't have to pay the government. There's there's no logic to it, but I'm I'm working on the tax avoidance scheme as we speak. Um, I haven't seen mushroom biome in such a long time. They are so rare for no reason, says Atlas. <laughs> You can say that again. Um, yeah, I had to go 6,000 blocks in my Let's Play world um, to find one, I think it is. And so what do I even do at that point? What do I even do? Death loops and text that separate support stream. Uh, there's not going to be a death loop today. I am very sure of that. Very, very wonderful. I uh, Today I'll the uh, turn the phrase. Uh, telling porkies come from pork pies lies and that has changed my life forever. I, you know, I, I, I learned that recently too. It was from a, uh, ooh, I want to say, not sorted food. Uh, it's from a food inside a video, right? Maybe, maybe you learned it from a different one. But uh, that's, I learned, I learned it recently because they were talking about pork pies. And it's crazy to me because a lot of cockney rhyming slang is so commonplace that you don't even think that it's rhyming slang. It's like, yeah, pork pies. You, the fact that it rhymes with lies is not the most significant thing about that. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think it's fun. Also, he's passed so many portals now. I, I need this portal, the one that's lit, but I need food before I go in. And so I'm specifically getting as much food as I can. Because I've learned from the death loops before, chat. I've learned how this can go. And we're going to learn from that. Uh, what game would you love to play on stream that you don't think people would show up for? So Sacrificial Lamb 456. Okay, can I be honest with you? The game the game I would love to stream the most. This was my goal when I was uh, when I was like 16, 17, 18. My goal, my dream, was that one day I could play Digimon World 2003 and that people would watch it. I've accepted since. That's not going to happen, but it's okay. So now I've got to go to 285.60. Thank you, Shinta. Um... We've got to go to 285.60. That is where I died. And so we'll see where my portal is. Nowhere near. Um, oh, yeah, it's in this cave. But I could go this way a bit. I'll see if there is a way out of this, actually. I don't think I've properly checked the cave as, as, as thoroughly as I could have. 
Yeah, and that way is going to take me quite some doing. So if I could just... Okay, this is, these are both the wrong directions. So we really want... We, we want to go in the direction of this cave. So we'll just start mining and see where it takes us. And later that will give us a good tunnel back home. Okay, so we'll go... Hey, look, chat! Ancient debris! <laughs> what am I going to do with it? Absolutely nothing. Uh, I found another cave. I can use this cave to find more cave stuff. I'm going to break the magma with my fist just so I can get through. I'm going to replace that. And oh, oh, is this leading me somewhere? No, it's a big hole. That might be... So that that bottom of that hole might connect to something, to be honest. It's just kind of risky to go in without a plan. And so, you know what? As someone who doesn't believe in risk, let's do it anyway. I'm <laughs> just... It's not. Um... How big is the body of water outside your portal? You know, that's a pretty philosophical question. How big can a body of water be before it stops being a body of water and starts being a, uh, starts being an ocean? You know what, why, when does it stop being a body of water and starts being like a, uh, you know, like a, if, if, if a body is the, is the torso, maybe it's like a leg of water or like a finger of water. I think there's those lakes in New York that are famous for being finger length, right? You know, these, these are all the questions that no one ever asks, but I wonder anyway. How many members until the Digimon stream? <laughs> I would start losing members if I promised that. I, uh... Again, one of the... One of the character traits that translates either very poorly or very well into YouTube is being... Is being conscientious. Um... I have to... I have to know... One of, one of the weirdest things about being like, I don't know, like a, a good host... Uh, in the hotel sense of the word, but also I guess in any other sense of the word. How, being a good host, um, we watched the Texan stream. Ah, uh, y'all watched the Texan stream? Because y'all would rather listen to a Texan man for two hours than watch Digimon World 2003. I'll prove it to you sometime. Um, yep, yeah, next time I stream any game that isn't popular, uh, look at the views on the stream. There, it's, it's a, it's a weird trap that gaming channels kind of have, actually. Is, uh... Like, even people are like, I play variety games. It's like, well, you, you play the hot game of the time. And if there's no hot game, your channel dies. Um... Also, Toy Cat, please don't. I hate that accent. Says, I rolled it. Well, you know, I'll have you know that you're from Southern Europe. I rolled it. And so if you were really Southern Europe, then you would be like, Oh, howdy, fellas. I'm over here in my lovely walkable city. I'm about to use my slightly lower salary on a per capita basis to enjoy the greater history that we have here on a... In a, in, a, in, a, in a grander sense of that word, because our continent was founded by peoples of a much older age. Well, wow, I sure did love being conquered by the Ottomans that one time. I like that my society comes from... <laughs> That's being Southern European. This is, this is a bit I could keep going for a long time, let me tell you, chat. Um, Minecraft, but every five minutes you have to change accents, says <laughs> Naomi <laughs> Uh Can't lie, the accent makes me physically recoil, um, says PB Mitchell. I... You know, it's a sign I'm doing the accent right. Um, how do you remember that I'm from Kosovo, says wrote it. Well, I actually said Serbian Europe. You're the one that said Kosovo. I guess you could make a grand point and say that's Serbian Serbia, but I wouldn't choose to make a little compliment like that in a live stream. Uh, what I would say is that I think I make good, good effort uh, in, in my role here as a YouTuber uh, to try and anticipate the needs of the people that watch my videos because YouTube is a game not about uploading what you want to as a creator, but you have to uh, anticipate what an audience might like from you. Uh, it's the same way that you cannot uh, hope to succeed on a website. You know, in the same way that Minecraft videos are about predicting, uh, you know, what people want from you in a Minecraft sense of that word. Uh, on OnlyFans, you can't just upload what it is that you find interesting. You gotta find the things that people love so much they'd be willing to pay you for. And that's why you never find long poems in Minecraft worlds, but instead you find... I don't, I don't think I should clarify the rest of that sentence. Um, every person from Texas is shaking in their boots right now. You know, that's that's why I summon Pookie to these streams usually. You either text next long enough and it's like there's been a beacon summoned. Um, the U.S. Geological so Ocean... Uh, sorry, the U.S. Geological Survey says a body of water is considered an ocean at a surface area greater than 400k square miles and a depth of greater than 4,000 feet. 400,000 square miles is... 20,000 miles by 
twenty thousand miles. No, it's it's not. It'd be two thousand by two thousand, I guess. No, I guess not even that. I guess it's four hundred is it doesn't evenly work out. You know, that's I it's um I hear you're really good at the Canadian accent. Uh oh, I am from <laughs> my Canada accent is actually just an Irish accent in disguise. I can only really do two accents, actually you see I've uh I really only got a couple of accents, and they're not. They're, it's not very well developed, you see, because there's only there's only three ways that you can really say uh, words as a person. You gotta you gotta really develop your mouth in an entirely different way if you want to. It's a it's a whole problem. Anyway, speaking of whole problem, um, this is this is this is just going terribly for me. Um, are oceans not considered bodies of water? I don't think an ocean is a body of water. The ocean is where the is where the bodies come from. I mean, I guess all the... You know, how many bodies do you think there are at the bottom of the ocean? It's got to be in the thousands, right? Canadian is the perfect description for that accent. My Canadian accent is this. Moo... Sorry. Moo... Sorry about that. Moo... Hope I'm not disturbing you. It's the whole bit. Um... <laughs> um... As an Australian, I would like to hear Toy Cat imitate us, says Kieran Brand. Um, I feel like I could do of Australian, a, a bit of Australian. Uh, if you give me a little bit of uh, accent time, I feel I feel like I could uh, get a little bit over there. I, I go a bit super rickin' when I try build, but it's uh, it's all about the vowel shift. Uh, you you gotta speak, say things more or less in a British accent, but then you gotta just shh, throw some twang on some words, like uh, you know I'm a. Uh, all right, all right, good day, fellas. About to about to head down to the CBD. You uh, you know, like you gotta you gotta throw some Australian words in there. For some reason, instead of calling it a city center or downtown, if you if you're from New York, in uh, in Australia they call it a CBD. I think that's all of Asia, the Asia Pacific region, the Central Business District, which is weird because I mean, like if you think about it, the thing that defines a city center is the businesses. But like, surely there must have been a city center before the businesses. Do city do businesses get to define where cities exist? Because isn't it weird? Like modern day businesses exist in like, or like the biggest expansion in the lot, you know, like in terms of retail space, is in retail parks. Um, and so like you wouldn't ever say that there's a city starting there, right? I don't think you'd say that at least. Um, okay, this is good eye, mate. Yeah, good eye. How's how's the it's, it's, it, you know, I, I, I'll just watch a bunch of H2O just add water and it'll come easily. Did you know all of H2O just add water is on YouTube for free? You have zero reason to ever want to watch it. But you totally could, let me tell you. Um, dig up, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking, okay, let's, let's do the test chat. Maybe there's a biome just above me. It never works, but sometimes it does. Hey, lava! Love lava. Um, why do you know that, says the young vendor man? You know, do you want the information or do you not? Also, oh, do we have to take up a collection to buy Toy Cat a pickaxe? I have watched all of H2O, just add water, says FBI. You know, FBI, what were you doing? Be honest with me here. What, what, what could you have possibly been doing for that to be valid? Okay, so now I'm going to later, 121, 104. Minus 121. Minus 104. I didn't... Okay, I didn't want to put the slash there. I'm not trying to cheat. I'm trying to track down my coordinates. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to come back to this the other way. I figured this would save me time, chat. But it has cost me... Cost me everything. Oh, I lava you too. You know, I water... Wh what are you doing with this profession of lava? I... I milk... <laughs> That's all the fluids in Minecraft. That's that's as good as I can get, I'm afraid. Uh, I, I I can't milk these puns anymore because of that. Uh, oh wow! Look at the Striders chat. I forgot how much I love the Striders in this. Look how cute he is. Look at this guy. Don't you just want to put a saddle on him and ride him into the, some lava? Um, okay. So very adorable. He looks cold. He just wants to be in the fire. Let's walk him over to the fire. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do him a favor real quick. Go in there. Go in. Yeah, he's happy again. <laughs> um, what texture pack is this? This is the story time texture pack. Um, the story time texture pack. Available on all good marketplaces now. Uh, he's got little boots on. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, um, 
Uh, doesn't the Never Surface try to generate around 60? Uh, I find there's a Never Surface around 35 as well. Like, there's a... Like, you can see right here we're at 60. But then you can see there's, like, some down there at 50. And I, I, don't, I, I feel like we usually can do a lot of players. Also, love ghosts. Um, look at the skeletons. Look at this scoopy little face. Okay. Oh, the ghosts are cute. He's smiling at me until he's not. <laughs> Ouch. It's fine. No problem, sir. So I went this way, I'm pretty sure. And then after... Okay, yep. Yeah, I can see that I went this way. Got the proof. Got the standards. Let's try to just change from miserable looking to slightly unimpressed. Yeah, I was hoping he'd be happy. Like, I felt like he would owe me a thanks for that. But instead he's like, eh, what are you doing here? I was like, I just, I just saved you from a lifetime of coldness. I was like, yeah, what have you done recently? Ouch. A lot of fire damage. Uh, I'm going to survive it. I just, I just, I'm un un unappreciative of the game for doing this to me. Um, okay, why are the mobs so dang cute? Exactly. <laughs> I, I said this about it when I reviewed it, but the, the thing I find charming about this pack is it feels like a classic 4J one. But just with some cutesy elements added. It's a bit of fantasy. It's a bit of cartoon. And then it's a bit of just every time you see a mob, you can go, ah. Like even the magma cube. Like, I don't like these guys. I don't want to spend a lot of time around them. But, you know, if I was going to, I'd get something for my money. Um, what are your thoughts on Worthing England, says Frog in a Minecart. Uh, it's, it's vaguely near Brighton. And it probably has other characteristics as well. I could not tell you what those are. I'm wearing my Christmas Toy Cat shirt today, and it's getting a lot of confused looks. It's you look glorious. I I like to wear any shirt that will confuse people. You know, just getting a little little bit of that from someone else in the world is what makes my day. So I've uh, I've done all my recording today, um, in a in a shirt from that company I work at. You guys familiar with it? It's a it's a little it's a little little, little store. It's a uh, it's not very widely known. It's cool. Actually, I, I need to check my camera to see if you can even see this. Can you can you see can you see can you see the branding on my shirt? I don't think you can actually. You know, it's I, I work at a great supermarket. I'm very very proud of my job. I manage I manage the I don't even know what you call it the milk department. Um, you know, I, I actually you know my, may, maybe Whole Foods do need to hire a uh, you know a Minecraft YouTuber to help promote them. Like, if you think about it, I, at least, like, one person has bought the Storytime text pack because of me. I mean, they must have, or the, or the nice people wouldn't have said nice words to me, uh, the people who make it. And so, um, logically speaking, we can take that a step further. And we could say that someone might buy some milk at Whole Foods if, if, I, if I become their milk social manager. Chat, go buy, go buy milk-based beverages at Whole Foods, probably. Actually, you know, that's the ex Honestly, if you go into Whole Foods, you have to buy the things they don't sell elsewhere. Because everything they sell at both... Okay, this is going very poorly for me. Very poorly for me. Very poorly for me. I'm alive. So how did I get down there last time? I think I... You know what? I'll just take the full. I'll just... I'm just going to take the full. That's my plan. It's going to work. Yeah, I'll just... I'll just... Take a... Take a full. All the way down. Um, and I'll make it a little bit less crazy. I'm going to eat some cooked beef right now. Don't die, Toy Cat. <laughs> you know, is is the death loop not the dream? I thought that was the whole reason we were here. Okay, yeah, this is, this is what I did last time. It's more or less effective, too. And so now we got to get to... Uh, that was a good fool. That was, that was graceful. It was reasonable. Was good. I like to leave single chopsticks of dishes to confuse my housemates. <laughs> you know, ultimately, it's uh, you know how like children act out if they don't get like uh, if you if you, if you don't meet some basic need, they're like scream and yell because they'd rather be oh no, I'm gonna die, chat. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ooh, um, you know, it's like it's better to be. I think that's like children proving that people would rather be uh, hated than ignored. The the opposite of love is not hatred, it's it's apathy. Um but uh in the same way I can't believe oh after all this time we finally find the warp forest. 
Uh, useful to know. we just got to come back here and we can get some ender pearls. Ready to go fight a dragon, really. So, Cat, do a Kosovar accent. Oh, I am from Kosovo. This is my Kosovo accent. I am, I do believe very strongly in a, in a, in a greater European federation. <laughs> I have no idea why you'd believe in that if you were Kosovo. But I am sticking with it. Okay, soul sand here. Okay, chat. Can I make this jump? What do you reckon? Can I, can I do it? I might be able to, right? Is that five blocks gap or is that four blocks gap? Um, I, I could probably make this jump. Let's go for it. Yeah! <laughs> I was, I was not sure how that was going to go. I'm glad it worked out in my favor. Okay, we're getting closer and closer to my death location. Um, it was somewhere around here. Uh, oh, uh, we've got a ruined portal as well. Everything we needed was on this seed. That was, this was, this is going to be the chillest run. Can't believe I died. How, when do I ever die, chat? Okay. Um, <laughs> Pig, Piglet, Hoglins would love to answer that question with, like, right now. Uh, but they're not going to be able to. Just look at this. Too smooth for them. Uh, 285. So all the way across this biome is where we died. And so soon the five minute timer starts. As soon as it renders in, we'll be great. Uh, only because you skipped the soul sand. Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> the soul sand was going to ruin me. Um, 100% the soul sand was going to mess my life up. So I'm going to use this to chop down some uh, wood. Just so I have some blocks to play with. And then we... See, by the way, look at this. I, I came prepared to recover from my death. And now we're good. Um, by the way, chat. I had an idea for a video. You know, I feel like I must have come back from... Or come in... Uh, I must have gone into my bad situations. Like, so many more times than the average Minecraft player. Do you think a video on, like, how to recover... How to deal with the worst thing happening... Would be an interesting one? Like, the worst thing has happened, now what? Uh, I feel like... Do, do you think it's a fun video? Also... Uh, why, when you talk, do you hear your accent? I don't hear my New Zealand accent, but apparently you stick out like a sore thumb in England, or is that because we don't sound British? Uh, Frog in a Minecart, the New Zealandish, the New Zealand accent, New, New Zealand, um, it sticks out because it's quite close to British without being, like, um, I feel like no one would ever point out or make fun of, say, a, a, uh, you know, a Ukrainian accent or a, um, a Somalian accent. They're, they're really, really far off. The languages aren't the same. Um, but New Zealand is just like English, but vowel shifted. So it sounds like it's very, very close. And therefore people are like, oh yeah, it's like the same, but different. And so it's, you can make fun of things that are closer to home. You know, like you can make fun of your friend, but you can't make fun of your, your enemies. Um, not to say that, I don't know, Ukrainians or Somalis are the enemy. Um, hopefully. Uh, you know, as best I can tell. Um, okay, I'm really, really close by, by the way. I need to grab my blocks and just get in there. Okay, I'm here, I'm here. Hopefully it hasn't despawned, chat. Um, but yeah, I think it might be fun to like. Okay, what do you do when you've died in the worst case? Everyone's tempted to cheat. But everyone, you, you know you'd feel better if you didn't. I've always heard to Americans, New Zealanders are mistaken for either English or Australians. Oh yeah, that's a, uh, a, 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 admittedly, like I, it's while I'm wearing an Australian t-shirt or like a New Zealand uh, t Actually, yeah, I, I get mistaken for Australian in America when I wear a New Zealand t-shirt, which is a funny, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of things happening on that one. Um, but, uh, oh, I'm here. This is, this is where I died almost. Okay, so there's some of my experience that's, and the rest of it is... Oh, it's on the it's on this side, right? Where is it? Uh, I don't see my death location. There it is. There it is. Okay, the stuff's alive. The stuff is alive. I'm going to have to make a very precarious jump. Okay. Then another very precarious jump. Okay, just, just got to get over to the stuff. And then I'm glad I got more crimson planks. It's very clear I need them for this situation. Eat some beef on the way down. Uh, there we go. Okay. If I've got the blaze rods and I've got the gold, we're good to go, chat. If I don't, 
we are the opposite of good to go. Uh, we are... Okay, so that is Blaze Rods. I don't see him, chat. I don't see him. Are they down there? Yeah, I think everything is going to survive this. It's just a matter of where it flew. So, oh, that's scary. It's very scary. So we're just going to slowly crawl down to the bottom of the hole. I, okay, so this, there we go. Blaze Rods, re-obtained. So now we put the armor on. Gold helmet, gold leggings, gold chest plate, gold boots. Uh, there's a shield in here. Uh, I'm panicking. I'm not dealing with it correctly. Let's pick up the gold next. So, string. Sorry. Don't, don't, not too good. Gold boots, please. This other stuff. Okay, there's the shield. So we're just going to get that somehow. So I'm going to throw away the polished blackstone bricks and the map for now. Love a good map, but not in this context. Put the shield... Okay, this this is one area where I'm like, oh yeah. The inventory management under the fly, you're never going to do it better in a texture pack than in vanilla. Sad reality. Um, but now we're going to eat some beef. We're going to stack out. And we're going to say, pretty nice, actually. Is that food? That is food. Let's trade this for it. <laughs> one, one piece of bread. Let's, let's just eat the bread. And then, now I'm going to... Oh. Oh. Do I want that sword? I have an iron sword with no durability. I have an iron pickaxe of lots, an iron axe of lots. So I definitely don't need this, right? I do probably want the gold sword with sharpness on. And I do probably also want to keep these boots. But I'll take this gold axe, which I just got rid of. It was the gold sword I want to go check. It's probably got something if I kept it. No, it doesn't. I'm just, let's assume it has nothing. Now we need to get out of this mess. Um, lots of stacking is going to be done. Is there a golden apple there? Oh, yeah, the golden apple. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Is this... That's a regular golden apple, though, right? Where's my Where's my enchanted one? Let's let's stack up. Go find it. Um, so my blocks of choice are going to be crimson planks. These are very wonderful for this purpose. There's one on the floor. Is there a golden apple on the floor? Chat, are you seeing an enchanted go? Oh, yeah, right there. It looks like a peach. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely want that. Okay, now let's stack up. Stack, stack, stack myself right to the very top. It is very nice up here. And so I don't need to rob. Um, I know it's people from the Midwest. Uh, people say I'm from the Midwest the way I speak and I don't notice it. I guarantee you if you came to the UK, no one would say you were from the Midwest. <laughs> Be like, oh, y'all from America? Oh, I love me some America. That's not how we speak here. You know, funny fact, the uh, the American South accent actually comes from the UK. Like, I mean, obviously every American accent comes from the UK. But, like, people in, like, Devon sound suspiciously similar to people from the South. Like, our South is very similar to your South. Um, but, like, we just don't care about the people in our South. Uh, they didn't have they didn't have as many, many uh, human being properties... Uh, and so we, we don't, we, we never developed a, a culture around, uh, having strong feelings one way or the other about them. Okay, so we've got an enchanted golden apple. I've got a ton of gold blocks. And I've got an, a, oh, look at that enderman, by the way. I forgot how spooky he is. So, now my coordinates I've got to go back for are minus and minus. I think I've gone the wrong way, and that's okay. But we got to go back towards the negative. How did I get here? <laughs> we're just going to undo that. Can strongholds spawn in moose rooms biomes? You know what? Moose, moose room biomes, but spelled with moose, is something I enjoy a lot. Uh, but you know what else I enjoy a lot? Um, the the fact that uh, I didn't answer Cookin's question from earlier. So yeah, the, the, the best... I think the thing that you, the UK actually does best in the Western world, I think the Eastern world probably does better for certain types of foods. I really feel like we get value done incredibly. Um, like, you can spend a, you know, a tenner and get a burger and fries. And it's great. You can spend like seven pounds and get a bowl of noodles and a side. You, you like, in my opinion, something we do great is value. That's why, that's why the most loved chain, like domestically, is Greg's. Like, you, you go to Greg's with two pounds and you, you come out a much happier man. Um, you know, if you, if you it, the, the comparison, okay, I came this way, 
Uh, Walt Forest and Rib Bottle at 20, 60, 20. Thank you. Okay, appreciate it. Shent out. Okay, uh, don't appreciate this fella. Gonna have to light him on fire to show him that. Yeah, more pork chops for me. So now we can eat the bread. We can... Ooh, ooh, that's raw. That's not raw. This, I've got cooked beef on me though, so I don't really need to worry about this. What's a Greg, says Alex Payne. The best. Accents are so weird, people are able to tell where I'm from the north. But I don't think I sound fry genoop. Ah, uh, whoops a doozle. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I, um... You should watch a video, uh, Leanne. Uh, it's called... Uh, man puts his car in his garage or something like that. And it's just a man... It's a man from a region of the Netherlands. And his... The accent sounds so fake. Am I allowed to watch YouTube videos on my streams? What's the... What's the, what's the, what's the deal with that? Um, so 2060... Oh, 2020 is where I'm meant to find what I'm going for. I guess I should go up now rather than later. But yeah, it's, it's the funniest thing. Challenge idea, start the game in the nether with no items and no portal. Try to find a way out. Yeah, I've wanted to do spawn in the nether as a challenge for a while now. Do you think we should? Okay, don't burn me. Thank you. Do you think that'd be fun, chat? Sure, just have a reaction. Greg's is amazing. You get an oddly square pizza slice for two pounds. It doesn't taste like pizza. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, bread, cheese, and tomato is what you want in your day. You know, you know. Oh, yeah, look. Okay, how much how much obsidian do I have, chat? How much do I have? I have two. I can... No, I need three. Oh. Is there any in here? No. Whoopsie. Well, there goes my excitement. <laughs> I got a gold helmet of protection free, though. That's... That's... That's admirable. Yeah, that's... That's a nice win. And so now we're just going to go find some piglins. And we're going to do our trades. And then... Man, it's such a bummer having two obsidian and needing three. Chat. Look. Is there any way to use two obsidian to finish this portal? I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to game this out. If I break those two blocks, I get a portal minus one obsidian. If I place it here and here, I'm going to portal minus two obsidian. If I place one there... And then, and then like, no. <laughs> I wanted to believe that maybe I was just missing some option, but I was wrong. You know, no matter how hard I believed, an option wasn't coming into, into view. Oh, here we go. We got some friends. Okay. Hello. I have trades for you. Would you like to see them? Here they are. Uh, your friends, bring them too. If you could. Could you could you come up here, friends? I'd rather... Okay, you know, I'll give... Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to now attack this fella. Attack me, so now he has to die. Oh, well, I guess my sword has to die first. Okay. No, don't blow me up. So we're going to wait till some ender pearls come out for these fellas. Or we could just let them trade in the meantime. Okay, I'm going to take all of this gold down here now. Go. And then, oh yeah, there's, there's some odd stuff coming out for these fellas. Oh, and then I'll get the obsidian. I need to go back to the overworld. Chat, we'll get the... There we go. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm going to do the rest of this now. That's how sure I am this is going to work. I'm going to... Oh, no. Don't, don't you do this to me. I don't believe I'm not buying your religion. It's okay. Um, okay. So now we're going to get the other two obsidian we need, or the other one obsidian we need, and then we can go back to the overworld, closer to the origin, closer to the stronghold. Yeah. There were ender pearls, so still a hyper. Nah, who needs ender pearls where we're going? Actually, I need ender pearls where we're going. Otherwise, though. Whew. Okay. I'm, I'm also, every time someone says ender pearls, it mentions me, says derp. Oh, that's fun having a name like that that's like a compound or in the middle of some stuff. N derp. Oh. <laughs> this is your new name. You could mine the corners but need a diamond pick. Yeah, if you if you could move blocks around with a diamond pickaxe, you wouldn't need more than two obsidian. Here's some weird noises. Um No no need for ender pearls at all. Um yeah, I mean, how many times do ender pearls come up in Minecraft? Also, chat, what do you what do you think I should do as my next, like, challenge? Because I like the single biome, but I think the mushroom is the logical 
Um, I think it's the logical conclusion for single biomes. So do you think we should do the mountain man challenge we've been saying forever? Um, you know, where you can't go below why whatever. Or do you think it'd be fun to start in the nether and see what we could build back? Maybe without even ever going to the overworld. Um, or maybe we could like earn time in the overworld. You know, make a fun convoluted mechanic for it. What are these? Never, eh, never courts? Uh, we got a ton of barrows. We got a lot of sad fellas over here. And I see no ender pearls. Is that an ender pearls actually? Those are probably ender pearls. So flint, gravel, arrow, string, ender pearl. Hey! I, did I have to go through some stuff for them? But that's fine. Uh, give that fella some gold. Oh, some fire resistance. That might save my life. Uh, I don't know when, but it might. Oh, so we got more gold. So make some more of this. Uh, gold on the ground, just in case that turns into something. And now let's go complete the portal. So yeah, there's no more ender pearls around here that I see. Uh, so honestly... I think getting four ender pearls from 70 is actually not ideal luck, actually. But it's okay. I am going to have to trade out. So I'll make some of those. Throw the soul sand, throw the quartz, throw the never brick. Potion of fire resistance seems like a good thing to just like keep out and around with me. So I'll do that. Yeah, let's let's make let's make space for it. Um I didn't get any more ender pearls, as best I can tell. But, you know, there's still time to go. And still time to trade. I like that th th these nether bricks look like netherite ingots. And I... Oh, <laughs> Kieran Brand. Exactly the same time. It's it's odd, right? It looks like I should be able to just be like, yeah, let's 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 make all of my tools netherite now. But it doesn't work that way. It's very sad. Okay, now let's go... Also, both sound good, but I'd make it so you can't go into the overworld, says NL. Um, do you think... How would you make it so you could go into the end? That would be the interesting part of that challenge then, I guess. Okay, so this is now a complete portal. I'm going to see what's on the other side. And then we're going to use the, port the chest there, I think. Just to, just to, like, empty out some inventory. Minecraft, but it's story time. Um, I'm going to light a fire here. Yeah, just to keep things lit. And, oh, I figured I, there would be a chest here, but obviously there's not. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Uh, so instead, we'll make a crafting table right over here. We're going to make some blaze powder. And then we're going to make a chest. Put the chest on the crafting table. And then just put some dumb stuff in there. Like, you know, it's nice to have in general. But right now, it's not a priority. Then we'll make... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's take some of the blackstone. And let's make a furnace right here. Oh, I like this furnace. Um, put a couple of coal in there. And cook up the raw pork chops just so I'm like slightly more prepared for the future. Then we'll throw away one of these two shovels. Let's be honest, it's that one. And then the leather tunic. I want it to come up, but it's just not going to. Um, and then put the enchanted apple where the golden apple is right now. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Let's go back to the nether. Getting a boat. Oh, wait, no, wait. Before we go. Oh, it's too late. Bed set spawn. Ah, uh, what? Why would I need to do that? I'm not gonna die again. I never die in these challenges. So. Oh, what did I do? What? How did I offend you guys? Uh, they must have seen me mine some gold or something. So there's no more ender pulse here. Oh, and I'm picking up all the garbage. Uh, I guess I'll just fight you. Oh, should should have picked a better time to do this. You know, I don't want any of this. I'm out. I appreciate you guys' business offer, but I would like to not invest in it at this time. And instead, I will be getting my ender pearls from this lovely blue place. Love this biome. So I think I really want to be up there. So I'm kind of ha I'm gonna have to go back where the where the people are, or uh, use the blackstone and just make a stack up and hope that they don't knock me off in time. Okay. Um, Everything's going great. <laughs> they can't keep knocking me off. <laughs> yeah. Problem solved. Like all good problems, it can be solved by stacking away from it. And oh, and we got the fellas. Um, I should probably make a sword or something, but for now we'll just use the axe. It's not like you need it for much else. Okay. He's opened his mouth. 
You know it's serious when they open their mouths. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna eat some cooked beef. Then we're gonna attack some more. And I'm gonna get my ender pearls out on my hot bar, I think. Just so I can see them. They look very interesting, the ender pearls in this texture pack. It's one of those weird decisions where I couldn't I couldn't even tell you why they're changed. They they are changed, and it's an odd decision. I don't hate it. Don't don't love it. Angering the natives like a true Brit. <laughs> you know, if you ha if you haven't uh, been on unfriendly terms and tried to pillage the locals, uh, then are you really uh, British? Hey, six. Okay, so now all I have to do is fire. Okay, you know, let's just go for it. Easier than what I was gonna do. Ouch. Easy. Yeah, by the way, look how, look how cute the Endermen are. They've got these little heart particles around them. The Endermen are purple, too, to match. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think they made the Endermen match the Ender Pearls. It's suspicious. Um, but yeah, let's... So... Okay, is he here to anger me, angry murder me? Or... Look at you anyway. So yeah, if I, can, if I can hang out in this same cave all day, that's great for me. Very happy of that. Uh, I'm, I would suspect that is not how it works. But, oh yeah, look at that. Enderpearl again. Good time to be me. Honestly, unironically, I sometimes consider, wouldn't it be nice to just have an add-on? To just increase your enderpearl drop rates? Like, I think people wouldn't find it to be controversial. <laughs> people would be like, that's just accepted practice, actually. Okay, so let's go for it. I'm going to look at all of these endermen in the faces. I'm just going to murder them my axe. I, I do think um, it would be an interesting add-on to make of, like, Minecraft, but you make all the annoying bits slightly less painful. Like, that's my actual point here. It's stuff like Blazes being 50-50 is, is, like, fun enough for a new player, maybe. But when you're doing it for the 20th time, bad RNG feels real bad. And so what if it was just every time? Uh, for example, or like strongholds, um, what if they, you know, what if instead of having to throw and do some maths, you threw a single eye offender and then it spat out the coordinates? Wouldn't that be nice? Is this the texture pack with the toy cat paintings? It is Joshua Lyle, the speedrunner add-on. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I thought about that for a while with the maps, actually, like, it would be a fun thing to, like, make the perfect challenge for speedrunners. Um... It's definitely something I want to do with uh, the next thing we're working on. Okay. Murder, murder, murder. Go. Is that number 10? Yeah, it is. Um, we could probably stop at 10 or 11 or something. This has been chill. Minecraft Time Saving Edition. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if just Erev everything was just built. Make the game the tiniest bit easier for you. Uh, it's all the same base game as we see it. Okay, well, there goes, there goes my Ender Pearl obtaining method. Uh, I guess we'll make a another crafting table. And this time we'll make an iron sword. Great. Okay. No idea how I just did that without dying. Very happy that I did that. Okay, so I, I, I've got to have an iron sword for the dragon fight now. Um, I think that's probably... I think this is my last step until that, right, chat? Am I wrong? Is there anything else I'm missing? I'll just look a couple more fellas in the face. As we do. It's okay to make eye contact as long as there are ender pearls in it for you. Um, oh yeah, great. Give me a 12th ender pearl. If I get 12, I'll feel pretty confident. It, we've just 11 makes me feel uneasy that I have to come back here at some point. I've uh, I definitely developed a optimism, anti-optimism. Okay, so I'm gonna crouch. I'm gonna look. Where are you? You're up there. Come down here, you coward. Okay, don't 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 come down here. <laughs> Scary. Whew. Okay, so you two, why not? You not? Yeah, you not. Both these guys are dead. If they give me no ender pearls, that's a sign I don't need ender pearls anymore. Yeah, just let's just go for it. When they when they are dead, so too are my ambitions. <laughs> let's go for it. Thirteen ender pearls. That's that's enough ender pearls. I could even throw one to my portal. I won't because I might regret it, but I could, right? No one, no one can stop me. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys. Good night. Good night, Leanne. Hope you have a wonderful. No, you know, I hope you have a, a passable sleep. Um, I hope it goes okay. 
Um, craft your house for crafting table in this edition. Yeah, I would love to have a crafting house inside of a mushroom again. You know, one of my biggest disappointments is the- Oh, look at the furnace! It, I didn't even know! The arrow goes rainbow! <laughs> you know, it's a- uh, I've heard it's a month where people like rainbows. I'm just saying. If you needed a- if you needed the extra push to download the pack, you basically are, are bigoted by not, you know, just just saying, you know, you can you can do that information what you will. Okay, so in here, in here, in there. Uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's a good enough amount of blocks for what we're going to do. Let's go find the dragon. You excited? Eye offender. Oh, it's a red eye offender. I like that a lot. So we're going to go towards the negative, negative. So it genuinely could be worth going into the Never to do it. Because um, that is where my other portal is, right? How will this affect the Enderman population? Oh, there's a ruined portal right here. I wonder if it's one I went to. We're just going to walk this way like, I don't know, 500 blocks. Once we've gone past 0, zero we'll throw another one. I offender, says a frog in a minecart. <laughs> Indeed. Are we triangulating? I... I every time I try triangulation, it doesn't work out perfectly, and I just think, you know, we should have just not. I don't know if today is one of those days. Also, it's like a lizard eye. What do you reckon, chat? Do you like this one? But anyway, yeah. So, uh, if we were to do never only, then do you think do you think it should be can't go to the overworld? I think it would have to be overworld under very strict conditions, because unless you're going to build an end portal in the, unless you're going to build an end portal. In your never. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe you could say overworld, but you're only allowed into structures there. Or something odd like that. So you can't leave a stronghold, a mine shaft, a trial chambers, whatever. I think there's some possibility in there. Can you beat Minecraft if the world is 100% mushroom fields? Exactly. Simply pallid. That's the question I'm about to find out. It's looking pretty good so far, though. It's usually uh, just the overworld to find an end portal. Yeah, but something about that feels incomplete. Uh, maybe you have to earn every block that you travel in the overworld. Imagine trying to triangulate, but the second throw goes in the opposite direction. Yeah, that that would be a... You could triangulate from it, to be fair. I, I'm way negative now. Okay, so it's going this way. The angle's changed a bit, so I think we're fairly close. I think when we're at, like, negative 500 is when we'll try again. And then from there will be pretty good. Do you see they fixed the stronghold no portal room bug in the latest preview? I did not. Whoa, game changer. That is actually huge, can be. Um, should we? <laughs> it's one of those fun things. Should we be like, uh, do a, do a seed Sunday of like, here are seeds with broken strongholds. If you want one, now's the time. Um. There is always, always that interesting thing with a bug fix where it's like, well, it's gone now. And so you can never you can never have a stronghold without an end portal again. I guess you could just build a stronghold without an end portal if you really wanted one that bad. Um, does the fourth thing drop straight down to the stairs work in bedrock? No idea what that is. Maybe. Okay, go. Okay, it's straight ahead. Um, and the good news is we got the eye back. Having some good luck with that recently. Also, look at the sun. It's very... In in the mushroom biome, it's, it's fitting pretty nicely, huh? I still remember when Strongholds had stone stairs instead of cobblestone stairs at one point. I think it was... Um, they... They had to update them. Or rather, what it was is... Um, when Minecraft brought out stone stairs... The ID for cobblestone stairs changed. Because stone stairs would be stone underscore stairs or whatever. And so the game kept generating stone stairs, not realizing the stronghold would be broken. By the way, thank you, Darren Hughes, for five given members. How are things going, man? I hope it's going wonderfully. Um, I hope, uh, I hope, I hope you're doing wonderfully, and I appreciate the gifted members. Um, I am doing wonderfully myself. I'm doing desert well, I would say. Um, oh, it's backwards now. No, it's it's not backwards. That's not that's not what backwards is. Um. Yeah, I think if we'd, throw, if we'd gone to the Never and gone back to the Overworld, it would have been slower than what we're doing right now. Do, 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 
Uh, you can only walk on never blocks in the overworld, says Yness. Oh, I like that, Yness. Okay. Um, Yness, I, I, I want to do a big... Uh, I always like to uh, give a special credit when there's an idea that's real good. You know, it's, it's the same idea behind people who... Um, the same idea behind why it's important to thank people who tip. It's like, yeah, these are people who have done something very, very nice, uh, very useful. You know, like, yeah, help help the people who help you in the world that gets a better place. But, you know, that's really cool as an idea. I like that. I appreciate it a lot. So, you guys should pay us for these ideas. You know, it's a good idea. Let's all tip you, Ness. Um, I, I do think that... Oh. I do think that's actually a really fun idea, right? Like... You have to neverize the overworld to be able to walk there. Um, yeah, a challenge that I again. Uh, so I wanted to do this forever chat, kind of. There's a um, there's a challenge in RuneScape. It's called a uh, one tile. I think you get a tile for you get to unlock one square of the game for every level up, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it might be based on something else, but I'm pretty sure it's every level increased is another tile. Um, and. Um, I thought I, I I feel like that's such a good Minecraft idea. Like you can only every, to unlock one block, you have to do blank. I think one level would be kind of insane because <laughs> how are you gonna get levels at the very beginning? Um, there's a Stardew Valley challenge where you pay per tile. Oh, it's uh it's in a lot of games, is it? It'd be fun to see in Minecraft though, right? You're very welcome. Oh no, you're just welcome. I, I added the very myself chat. Very misleading of me. Okay, so I love the little heart particles, and I love that we're going to keep on getting this eye offender back. Uh, what I don't love is that we don't know where it's taken me. Is the dragon even real? EA if they owned Minecraft. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every gift of membership I've received, I'd have two nickels. It's a weird number though, right? Toycat pays us for high quality videos and streams so that we head our head and shoulders above the rest. Thank you, Joshua Lyles. Appreciate the compliment. I, um... Yeah, I've uh, I've had some fun with this recently. Also, um, did I pick up the eye? I did. I don't know why I went in my inventory. Must have had a mushroom lying around on me. Okay, so I'm going to get to just before this mountain here, and I'm going to throw again. Still forwards, huh? Oh, yeah. I I don't know why I'm surprised by that. So if you've, if you've been curious what the Wandering Trader's like in this texture pack, <laughs> I think it's real fun. Uh... But yeah, let's let's go. Would you consider allowing a way to buy memberships annually as well as monthly? Says Progna Minecraft. Oh, I would love if you could buy annual memberships. Uh, it's a YouTube uh, system, not a me system, though. Sadly, uh, I obviously, yeah, also so cute. OMG, <laughs> right? I'm glad. Okay, I'm glad chat agrees. Glad that wasn't just me that enjoyed that a lot. Um, Riggins Rally Girl loves it too. I'm, I I agree. Very very great. How are you doing, Riggins Rally Girl? I, uh, uh, you know, actually, am I, am I wrong or am I right? I don't know. I, I believe that you live somewhere in the, in the middle of the, of the, the country, uh, of the United States. Um, I, I, you know, just without s explicit numbers, if you don't want it to be, is it cheaper to go to Europe or to do the Alaska? Cause I, I know like Alaska is very expensive on boats cause you have to use like actual American workers and a lot of, a lot of fun things. Is, uh, is Alaska cheaper or is Europe cheaper from the... Because if you live in a coastal city, you can fly to Europe for wildly cheap. Like, it's like $400 round trip from New York or something. Um, curious how it is for you. Um, I've been curious. Do members get the same amount of ads on your channel as non-members? Uh, KMB asks. Very validly, too, in my opinion. Um, I, I think YouTube should not give you ads. I think a membership should work like a localized version of YouTube Premium. Oh, it went down, right? Is it... Is, Oh, no, it's up there. I don't know why I missed that. Um, I think it should work like a localized version of uh, YouTube Premium. It does not. Um, and uh, also, I haven't made the torches yet. I can do, though. Let's let's do it. Where are the torches? Why can't I? That's, that's coal. That sticks. Where is the... Where... Where are the tor... Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Look at look at the torch. Amazing, the pearl hasn't broken yet. Yeah, it's being it, the game is being very generous with the pearl today, or with the eye offender today. I'm loving it. So, um, speaking of generosity, 
I've run out of cooked beef, which means we're on the cooked pork chops now. Diff platforms have different rules around Ab Revenue. Why can't you throw fire charges? I do think that the fire charge is just a boring flint and steel right now. It would be much more fun if you could throw it. Um, but I guess it would be like... Yeah, but I, honestly, though, we have flame arrows. So maybe, honestly. Uh, it, it would break some systems, maybe. I think the wind charge is so cool. I'm, uh, I've been working on Q&A Sunday today. And just, just well, like, the wind charge is the first feature that I just sat around. Oh, it's dead, chat. I'm sorry. We did this to ourselves. Um, it's the first feature in Forever where I've just, I've just played around with it. And there's so many weird things to learn about it. I always thought fire charges were silly to be non-throwable. Yeah, I mean, why? Yeah, I, you would burn, you would burn people's bases from a distance. Like, fire charges from dispensers are powerful enough, but like, no one uses them because who wants to set up a dispenser and a lot? No one ever does it. Um, and... May, if you could, like, specifically pick the direction in the same way you can, that would be OP, right? Like, if I could right now fire this wind charge, or fire this f fire charge, and it would hit that, and that's someone's house. Like, destruct destructivity at a distance is something Mojang is very limited on. The fire charge would be the most trolly item in the game. Alaskan trip comparably, uh, if I downgrade my flight from first class to main cabin, uh, then about the same, uh, depending on how much hotels are. Um, oh, that's interesting. That's that's very interesting. Especially, uh, I feel like transatlantic, uh, European, uh, is a, it's pretty expensive to fly, uh, business. At least from again west to east versus the other way. Uh, what if guardians drop water charges? Says Bryce Nafziga. Um, I I think that Mojang really has a great opportunity. To basically have a bonus feature in the next couple of updates. Next next time the community complains because they're they're doing something with the EULA or they're the you know if they're making changes to something, they can be like, look, it's a water charge, and the water charge, like it. Also, do you think I'm ever gonna find a stronghold? You shouldn't have to go three thousand blocks for a stronghold, right? Am I crazy? <laughs> I feel like I've been going for a while. Flaming arrows don't burn blocks. TNT can only be thrown with complex cannons. Uh, dispensers from firing charges the whole process. It's fine. First class round trip be about ten thousand dollars. That's the same time I went to Alaska. Yeah, I feel like in turn. Yeah, I, I think you would get more value on a first time. My my my, my crazy like. Uh, I think that almost all travel is best if you like start on the low end and work your way up. Like, uh, but th I, I think that's like me, obviously. Different perspective on travel. Uh, I, th I think it's the coolest thing whenever you fly something that's not like bare bones economy and you're like, oh, they, they, they treat you nice here, huh? But if you, if you, if you like, if you go the other way around where you fly that first before ever flying the basic stuff, you're like, oh, there's the pleb class. I couldn't imagine flying there. It's an interesting difference, but like, uh, it's the thing I say, bef I, I say this a lot about like, do you want children to grow up wealthy? Because if they do, they don't even appreciate all the nice things. It's just, that's just what normal is. <laughs> and you know, I am a children that I look after myself is what I'm saying. Uh, and while we're at it, with items not having some cool uses, why can't we place milk, not even a cauldron? Let us have milk bottles too. <laughs> milk bottles are a fun idea. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I, I wish you luck. Uh, I, I think, I think flying is a very exciting thing. Uh, for like, to, to go on real long trips too. Like uh, if if you live in the US and you've only ever flown domestically, it's just a bus that goes fast, right? But if you if you fly internationally, they're like, oh yeah, this is a this is a premium experience, even in again bare bones economy. Hey ho, Wi-Fi's been awful today, so may only be brief here briefly. How's it going, Ash? I've I've traveled four thousand blocks to find a stronghold, and I haven't found one yet. I'm starting to think the game is just leading me in a direction for the fun of it. <laughs> I have touching issues with strangers, especially if I'm spending eight to twelve hours. Oh yeah, I, okay. That that I can. Someone needs to say this out loud. I I it, I I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's a sass day, so someone in the audience right now has gone through this too. But isn't the absolute worst thing when a place is so busy that you can't get around it the way you want? Like I was in a store earlier today, 
I was just there for some juice and some ice cream. Oh no, my ice cream! I forgot to put it in the freezer. I was just there for some juice and a milkshake now. Um, and, uh... Oh. <laughs> anyway, the, I, I, it was, uh... I was there for a juice. I was just like, I just, I just wanna... You know, why, why are you here? Why did you, why did you choose to come here at the same time as me? Uh, like, being around other people. Uh, I bet it's fine, says Chantal Xley. <laughs> it's not gonna be an alcoholic milkshake? Okay, that's good. That's, that's very, that's very pleasing. Ice cream? More like ice cube. I'm surprised the stronghold is this far. Chat, how many thousands of blocks do we go before we do either a creative or a... What do you reckon? Um... No, no, I guess not creative. Like, I mean, like uh, a slash locate. I think we're, I think we're there though now. I think this is the coordinate where it just goes straight down. Nope, I'm wrong. But you can see the angle is changing a lot, which means that it's not going infinitely or tens of thousands of blocks. So it's roughly at minus eleven hundred. Chat. We now know that for a fact, and we lost through an I at thirty six hundred. I'm gonna throw another one at four thousand, and we'll be good. Um, okay, let's eat another pork chop. I've taken some damage. You know, this is a very chill biome to be walking through. Have to say. Have to say. Um, I've got to go. Best of luck for the challenge. Thank you, Stella Hyper. Hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful way to have a very good day. I hope that it's not under this water. I've had enough underwater strongholds for a lifetime now. So, um... I'm gonna go check something. I heard some noises recently, chat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna temporarily just, just to make sure I don't leave too long. I'm gonna leave myself in some water so that I have to come back or I'll drown. Okay, be right back. Okay. Good news, no home invasion. Um <laughs> Anyway, um I, uh, please tell me you're not playing Bedrock this time, McDonald. I was thinking of starting a, a Java stream series recently. I thought it might be fun. A famous chair stream. Great idea. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, this is, this is how you stop yourself procrastinating. You give yourself a, a, a very, a very fixed target. Was it your cat friend visiting again? I wish my cat friend would visit again. I'm very upset that he won't. Okay, so even 1100 is too far. So it was about 1085. Chat, that means we are so, so close to where we want to be. Like, it's probably under this body of water. If I get over here, and then I'm going to throw it from a little bit higher up the mountain. It's 100% going to be that way. Bedrock is Toy Cat's whole thing. Toy Cat, do you play a keyboard or mouse and controller? Um, I, I do a little bit of both. Um... I I think it's... Uh, I would like to believe I'm ambidextrous at this point. Oh, come on! <laughs> Why is it going this way now? Oh, I broke a second eye offender chat. If there's no ender pearls in this stronghold, and it's also a zero eye offender one, then, you know, someone, someone's going to swallow that loss for me. How can it be so far away? <laughs> is it a... Uh... That is the discreet way to let out a fart, says Days and Confused. Oh, once I farted on stream... And it was so obvious, and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna get some comments about this. People aren't gonna like it. But then no one noticed, and I was I was pleased. Um, so, then after that day, I realized, you know what, the discreet ones? I don't know if I just angle around a bit. Um, which stream says Xavier? You know, I'm not, I'm not giving people that information. I'm sorry to say. Hey, we finally, we're, we're there, chat. I don't know where there is yet, but we are there. Okay, so we're gonna go to about 4100 now. And we're gonna try that again. I'm more like 40, 4150. Might might work well. 4120 is gonna be my compromise. 4120, let's go. If we Okay, so this is very, very bizarre. Don't break. You can't do that to me. So we wanna go somewhere like here now, and we're gonna throw one more. Okay, so between these two, don't break, don't break, okay. Between these two points, we're just gonna start digging down. We're gonna find a stronghold one way or another. 
Uh, I don't have enough Iron Pickaxe durability to not dig straight down, though. So what I'm going to do instead is have the Ender Pearls ready, have the Enchanted Apple ready. You know, I haven't fought this one through entirely, chat. I've got, I've got a Fire Resistance Potion. So the only thing that will kill me is a Big Fool. Yeah, only a Big Fool can, can mess me up. Uh, and you know what, chat? Maybe I like living life dangerously. Uh, Hello says, do you gamble in Vegas? <laughs> If I had dug one block to the left, I'd be dead right now. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't do what I'm doing right now. Ah, who am I kidding? This is not going to stop me. Um, so, yeah, I would love to say I've learned something. That That is why digging straight down is discouraged. But remember, it's not a crime. There's no crime against digging down. And if anyone tries to touch... So this is definitely the stronghold, by the way. You can see because it's such a weird flat surface. If we look in there, we'll find the stronghold, I bet. I mean, it's not a guarantee, actually. I don't want to pretend it is. But it feels like it might be. I'm wrong. I guess it's the stronghold area, though, right? Like, it's too perfectly flat. Okay, so we're going to jump over here. This could be the stronghold, too, though. Yeah, maybe it's just a flat wall. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being overly analytical about this um yeah what's in the what's in the wall so that's a corner too that's that's suspiciously what's the we'll just go down we'll just go down from all of this and we're not going to find another cave below this cave so now we can keep digging down from here and we can see what that does for me this is dirt i think so we can dig that and you can place a torch and we start digging down again. I think a stronghold being at like 50 blocks in the sky is unlikely. So we'll keep digging down. Suicide isn't a crime either, but that doesn't mean you should do it. Says, uh, nep nep. Uh, suicide can be a crime, depending on the circumstances. Pro tip. Don't do suicide just in case it's a crime. If that gets you through the day, then good news. Um, this is a cool looking stronghold, by the way. I like this texture pack a lot for strongholds. Again, someone, someone put a lot of love into this. And I'm, I'm, I hope that they see the love from the world. So, um, slimy cobblestone. <laughs> it kind of does look slimy, doesn't it? I see that. Uh, so behind this wall, there is this. Okay, that's a bit of a weird thing. Now, emeralds. Okay, I could now, I could get some, some regular wood trees now, chat. If I wanted to. They're, they're available. And an iron pickaxe. That's very good. A bunch more iron. Never bricks. Don't need them. Okay, this is this is good. This is solid, internet. Uh, but it's not what I need just yet. What I need is where the dragon comes from. Attempt suicide is a crime in North Korea, potentially. Haven't researched. You know what? That's, the t that's my favorite type of research. <laughs> Bookshelves are very vibrant. Yeah, I think everything about this pack is very, very vibrant indeed. It's one of the one of its big strengths. So there's nothing over there. It's always worth checking through these walls. It's just it's a common bug. Um, okay, so now oh, there's a whole hallway over here we missed. I bet there's a end portal down the end of it. That's just always how the strongholds go, in my experience. Please give me an. I, I really want one of these to just give me um, the ender, ender pearls I need. I would feel a lot safer in life. Where did the leggings go? They look very odd. Feel a lot safer in life if I had one of those. Uh, also, by the way, with 5,000 blocks from spawn, I didn't bring a bed. I don't have the string, I don't think, for a bed. I do. I just need wood. I've got wood. I can make a bed. <laughs> Exciting. Okay, make a crafting table. Use the crafting table to to make a bed. Yeah, chat. I can I can respawn. It's not it's not a one or done fight. That's good. Okay, so stronghold time. Searching around these things can be a real nightmare. I've done this many a time before, and it's gone poorly in lots of them. But let me tell you why this one is different. Library also. Yeah, the wood was always going to be in the library as a backup. I was thinking that in the back of my head. Don't don't worry. Uh, I The, the strong, strongholds are a surprisingly useful place for loot. 
So I haven't gone through this entrance over here. I doubt there's a end portal, but you always have to check, right? You never know. It's going to be there. But it never is down one of these weird alleys. It's always way back here. And then up here. And then... Like, it's, it's always close to the original staircase. And so that's why you know... Ooh. Please be an ender portal. Yay! Okay, so now we can... We've guaranteed we can go to the end at least. No matter what happens from here, we can we can light that ender portal. Um, it's impressive given how many IF ender pros we've had. Uh, very impressive. But I'm pleased. So, um, I can't emotionally do another long search for a portal, says so Chantal. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. I know I know exactly what you mean. Um, so this is a dead end room. So we're gonna make this a nice easy search for the portal. We're gonna we're gonna try all the avenues. That includes digging for <laughs> how does this happen 80% of the time? And then once we dig through that. See chat, that was ridiculous. I had to dig through two walls. No no standard person is gonna know to do that. Also, we didn't need the extra eye vendors. But it's nice to know we have them anyway. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two more. One, two. Yay! Oh! Oh, I like that a lot. So now I'm going to break this. And I'm going to make my bed. And I'm going to sleep in it. It's going to be lovely. Okay, chat. Are you excited? We are about to take down the dragon. Hopefully. The love dragon. Have I, s I don't think I've seen the dragon yet because I, I showed this off on my Let's Play and the Let's Play doesn't have that. So we've got a lovely sky in the end today. Do like to see that. And uh, I don't have any arrows, but that's fine. You don't need one. It makes it makes life a lot easier. Actually, if I've got string, I can have arrows. Oh, don't fight me. I don't deserve this. Uh, so we'll just make a bow if I can find it. So sticks, and then fishing rod, bow. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to just fire an arrow at the dragon. See what that does for my survival odds. Doesn't seem to be helping them a lot. And uh, yeah, so I've got the enchanted apple. If I don't eat this, the fight is a bit of a waste. So I'm just going to be ready to eat this at all times that she's not in the center. And when she is in the center, I'm going to go for this. Okay. Coolest trick shot ever, chat. Look at that. That should... There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Um, oh, yeah. The dragon... Honestly, the dragon looks a little bit too scary for a pack that's so cute. Every other mob is so adorable. And the dragon's going to look like that. I think that's bizarre. Um, I'm going to take down as many of the towers as possible. You don't need to on bedrock, but it's, uh, it's a nice little start, right? Did you know the iron cages at around the pillars were first added in Legacy Console Edition? Java didn't have them in older versions. Yeah, the Legacy Console version picked the better ver the better like end fight. Honestly, it's a it's one of those really cool facts in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I can keep aiming for the dragon or these towers. I don't think either of them is a particularly effective target. I guess we could start stacking up a little bit, make a little tower over here somewhere. But let's go in again. So yeah, when, when do you think we go for the Enchanted Apple? Where are the Endermans as Brigid's Rally go? So, this is the weird thing. I think the end is the biome of the Overworld. Because last time we had Overworld mobs but no Enderman. And now we have no mobs, right? So I think the... I think the end is actually a Mushroom biome. Which means that Mushrooms would spawn here if we put down Mycelium. I could test that, actually, right? No, I can't test that. That would be interesting to test. If you if you just made the end out of mycelium, uh, you could make a true mushroom only... Okay, so let's, let's fight this fella. Uh, I think it'd be very interesting. Also, I'm, I'm getting very close to my the end of my health bar. I've got to eat just to survive now, chat. Oh, yeah, it was so close. It was was the hardest ender dragon fight I've ever had. By the way, thank you very much for the tip, um, Matt, Miss, uh, Matt, Pat, sorry, Matt, PD. Um, been bouncing around the stream and Starship Lift. Please remind me why you swap texture packs and two letters to summon nostalgia. C1. Ah, that is nostalgia. Uh, what do you mean switch texture packs? I think we've been playing with this texture pack the whole time. Did you, did you misremember? Sorry, I can only gaslight people on live streams, but as soon as the video comes out, it's not going to work on anyone. But, uh... 
Yeah, this has gone nicely. Ouch. It's fine. I've got... That's that's why you need the enchanted gold apple. Specifically this reason right here. I'm just going to continuously fire arrows at her. And let's go. In we fight. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out of sword before I run out of dragon. Which is a hard problem to have. I do have to admit. Oh, yeah. This, this sword is not going to make it. So I have to commit to using my... Oh. Right back in for the finale. This has been Fighting the Dragon in Minecraft, chat. I hope you've enjoyed it, because I certainly have. That is a, a, honestly, this has been the easiest end of any biome ever. If you're gonna do a single biome challenge, this is the one, apparently. Uh, I have beaten Minecraft in a mushroom-only biome. It was a lot of fun. But do you know what else was a lot? Oh, look, the even the experience is hearts, chat. I didn't notice till just now. Uh, but you know what else has been a lot of fun? This texture pack. If you want to play along, uh, the challenge is from Crack Magnet Super Flat Generator. And the Super Flat, uh, uh, rather the texture pack, is the Storytime texture pack. Uh, they have, of course, uh, sponsored uh, the use of it and whenever I want to use it. They've, they've been very nice about these things. And you can get a big salmon painting. So what isn't there to love? Uh, I will be next streaming on Tuesday, I do believe. And... Uh, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have uh, one of my editors, George, come over, and we're gonna be doing realm review live. So it's gonna be a whole fun thing. If you ever wanted to see your realm, but in a live context, uh, that's a thing. Hope you're looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, for now, hope you all enjoyed the video, because I'll see you in the next one. Good bye. It's a live stream, I guess. Whoops. What's up, thank you, Joshua Lyles, for re-becoming a member. We are 13 away from 500. I'm excited. But yeah, thank you for watching.